real. That's real. Yeah, that's real. 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 That's the real right. light. Shit. Uh, all right, three, oh. two. Let's start. Hold on, fam. All right, we ready? Three, two, one. Wow, hold on. All right, hey, welcome, welcome to, to the. the- <laughs> 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 you go. He did that again. Right? He's doing the whole squad <laughs> journey. <laughs> That's what we're doing today, bro. Oh, wow. Welcome to the Afrotype Podcast, episode 26. 26. 26. The podcast where we're talking about anime, manga, and everything, everything else. else. <laughs> I'm Mr. Good Guy, aka MGG, and I'm joined by my co-host. Before we introduce ourselves, start right now. Don't let that nigga go! Don't let that nigga go! Y'all tweaking! Y'all tweaking! Don't let that nigga say his name first, bro. Hey, I'm we playing five. We might be done. We might be done. We might be done. And I'm joining here with my core. <laughs> We're going to introduce ourselves after me. Wow. Wow. That's what we do in this 2019, oh, bro. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, I'm talking about to be a goofy in here again, bro. Two times. Hey, it's, it's a, two it's times a here. It's, it's a smear campaign. That's going to be your yeah. highlights, bro. It's a smear campaign, 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 bro. It's a smear That's your 2018 highlight. Like, What's oh. up, people? It's Jugger. <laughs> God damn. Oh, fuck. We waiting on you. Oh, I thought they went. What up, Zeus? It's been like a... No, not, we waiting on... Oh. <laughs> oh, I replaced that. Did you? Oh, oh, oh he's you got really super real. low all of a yeah. sudden. Oh, why he not coming through that? Oh, wait, he, yeah, he's not coming through the speaker. Yeah, my speakers is fucked up. Ooh. Yeah, oh, I'm just saying, if I had speakers, they wouldn't be fucked up. <laughs> you said what? Huh? You can't see it. Yeah, I think my phone's gonna fuck it up. It might fuck up the recording. Mm. Mm, you tripping, fam? Damn, bro, you wanna fix this? No. Oh, okay, uh, cool. <laughs> we, need a CTO, uh, a tech we need to add Josh as our IT person. Yeah, we need to do the recording. Um, I just added, uh, you know, the story time. You know, power, bro. Right. Oop, you just you know, so just in case niggas are uh, struggling to think about a story for a story time session, can refer to that article. Okay. All right, so into story time. Um, five. Yeah, so uh, just yesterday, actually, uh, me, my brother, his family, and then uh, <clears throat> my roommate, we all went to uh, like this like fun land type of place or, you know, they got like go-karts and bungee jump stuff and all that you know i'm too big for the bungee jumps but i was like yeah you know let's go for you know some fun family fun that's all i wanted (laughs) um but you know people kept challenging me so like first they like we get there obviously everybody like let's go to the go-karts i'm knowing i'm too big but i'm like all right let's go (laughs) i get in the go-kart and like literally it's like this much space but like this much me so i'm like in the go-kart like this for real like i, I can't move i can <laughs> I only turn the wheel this much because yeah. i'm too big in there yeah <laughs> all right it's, it's whatever so i start going but because like my, my legs are too big to move my foot is also on the brake and like i can't take it off the brake <laughs> so like at this point i'm just like i'm cruising everybody else, i'm like all right bro forget the race i'm just gonna cruise. I, I pull over to the right and i'm just cruising you know it's, it's a nice one Warm summer day. Wow. I'm getting the breeze on me. Ooh, I go about five, six laps yeah, just cruising. Breeze. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm yeah. chilling. And then lo and behold, yeah, I'm, you know, I actually got to like turn real slow. You know what I'm saying? I'm like for real big nigga cruising. And then I'm like, all right, the dude, like, all right, last lap, people bring it in. I was like, I made this whole time. No, my nephew kept bumping me, but he a child, you know, even though he's not bumper cars. It was annoying, but yeah, whatever. And then uh, I was like, I know somebody just going to hit me on this last thing. Sure enough, I'm driving and my roommate come through. Boom, smack me. I spin out of control. Oh, I'm facing backwards now. His car, he hit it so hard, it stopped working. And now we just two grown men sitting there, fat as hell, in the middle of this track. 
<laughs> while all these kids laughing. Wow. And then the, the guy got to come and like push us to get us started and stuff like that. I was talking to him the whole time. I was like, yeah, bro, I'm kind of big. You about to have a workout. He got a little stretch in before he pushed me. <laughs> but then, yeah, we got going. I thought that was it. Then we kept moving. We go to uh, laser tag. So I'm like, all right, motherfuckers want to run me off the road. Okay, bet. I'm about to get serious <laughs> on this laser tag. Everybody thought it was a game. Everybody thought all them years I spent playing Call of Duty to 3 a.m. was a game. <laughs> and well, it was a game, but you know, I was prepping for real life. You know what I'm saying? And then what happened? I don't care if you was a kid. I don't care if you was somebody. Mama, everybody was getting it. I'm doo -doo, headshot, doo, taking people down. <laughs> Six kills in a row. I think I might have died four times that whole time. But I, uh, I, I... I Killed maybe like twenty some people. Damn. I got like twenty something. I was yes, half of my opponents were children. But <laughs> hey, <laughs> you step on the battlefield is war. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no love and peace and nothing. Like child, wow. anything. You getting shot? I was, I was, I was killing dudes. I was doing pretty good, and I was leading my army effectively. But you know, Damn. to truly test my skill, I gotta go do this again with adults. I gotta bust something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, whenever anybody wants to smoke. <laughs> Shooting no, oh, so you the one still got your healing factor. My healing yeah. factor left after I hit 24. So, you know, if I get hit, that's it. I'm going to be hurt for a month. That white part of me left a long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All that adventurous shit left after yeah. like third year of college. Yeah, I'm going to go look for the noise type of thing. <laughs> that shit left a long time. Once I got a 401k, I was like, no, I think I like my life. <laughs> First check hit, and I was yeah. like, no, <laughs> I'm it's good. It's <laughs> hard to just be around for, you know, kids Damn. and shit, you know? Well, I think it was when I paid for my first massage at a hotel. <laughs> That's when I was like, oh, no, getting hurt, not fun. <laughs> Feeling as good as possible, way better. And that's it. That's logic, though. That's life. But moral of the story time, I got ran off the road, and I shot up a bunch of kids. We demolished them. It wasn't even close. In laser, <laughs> in, in laser tag. Yeah. Uh, in laser tag. In you laser tag. We still teach these children. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Oh, here. One of our nation's finest uh, teachers, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Shooting kids on my weekend. Two time goofy on the planet. Two time goofy, <laughs> goofy on Shooting children. Running on a team. Two time goofy, though. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, hey, I'm gonna start prepping my speech for Goofy of the Year because I see niggas is on me. This speech gonna be the best. I'm waiting. Hey, I'm, January, when you started it, like, <laughs> I'm waiting. You see, you're trying to throw anything on you. Anything, right? Wow. Y'all just lying to me, bro. Y'all just being dirty. It's a campaign. Y'all dirty, man. Sure. Make sure you wear a grape juice outfit when you do your speech. I'm on there I with, with, hey. with, the, with the, uh, the diaper on. Right. Wow. I see him working with the opps on. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right. He get his hair. Basically <laughs> already there. In a Mineta suit, bro. Crazy. Oh, no. uh, all right. On to some decent news. And by decent news, I mean cut the chat. <laughs> Go ahead, uh, Gramps. Oh, my bad. You said there was one thing. Sorry. You had one thing on decent news. And then we do cut the chat. Yeah, uh, so uh, as far as the political section of it goes, you know, a lot of shit is going to be canceled between the U.S. and China. Ooh, ooh. And uh, I, I'm just going to point out this one company, Huawei. They, it seems like if shit doesn't uh, rebound, rebound for them somehow, they're going to fucking tank because basically all of their products are like Google dependent or android dependent and so forth since and it's like if that company doesn't have any type of person over there in china or whatever other country to remake all of this shit that android and and google has has built so far they're gonna fucking tank all the way down and supposedly uh, i think every every phone that um, a person has that's already uh well every huawei phone that somebody already has their shit is going to stay up to date for only 90 days, and then after that, your phone is, it, it is what it is. It's the shit. Dang. So fucking up. Yeah, too bad. Danger. If there's Dick, no updates so. for everybody else, you just got to save what you got. So is that niggas out here that's going to be affected, or niggas in China that's going to be affected? Everywhere. Yeah. Oh, okay. Sounds oh, like you're saying, then I care. What is it, Huawei? That's how you pronounce it? Right? Yeah. So they're going to go out of business, but they're going to want to sell their phones. Yeah, I mean, I don't use that. Yeah. The I had a Huawei. I had a Huawei phone. Before. I mean, I know people do. Like, yeah. They're the number two phone seller at this point. Oh, oh for real? 
Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I, I had one before. Uh, it's definitely like the highest tier your mama not paying for a high-end phone. Oh, it's okay. like, you know, like, if you're not one of them kids where your mom about to get you that young Apple, like, yeah. you get the Huawei. Okay. Yeah, my, my college phone, yeah, my first college phone, it was a Huawei. It was decent. It worked decent. I just wasn't an Apple man, you know. Hmm. My brokers. Okay. <laughs> this mother has a testify. Yeah, so um, I, I specifically wanted to point that part of the whole political issue shit out because that, I feel like that's definitely going to have a, an effect on the uh, competition. It's, it's going to uh, lessen the fire on everybody's ass to, to try to make the you know next best thing and you know try to make it a bit cheaper in order to make it more competitive with everybody and so forth. So this is weird. That this this might fuck us over also in it, one way or another. I find it. I find it crazy that as soon as they, uh, as soon as like Google released a like super cheap like but decent phone, then like one of the top Ooh. cheap phones gets like knocked off the market. Mm. Uh, they probably got some insider info that mm. us regular niggas don't got. Come but like the conspiracy I mean, it, theories, it affects them too though. Like Apple, it affects them because they make these phones in China. Yeah. So they can't import the phones. Well, there's a tariff on it, so they they gotta pay and bring their phones to the U.S. I mean, they just gonna up the price of their iPhone. They yeah, still gonna buy it. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> hey, but, I, but that's what you're saying. It's gonna affect people in some way. Well, it's, it's gonna affect. I mean, y'all I mean, got the money, so y'all Apple's got the money. So, <laughs> <laughs> Apple, <laughs> got the money, so. Androids are made in China. You know? I mean, I'm sure they China. are. You know what I mean? But I mean, like, I got my OnePlus, man. I'm just holding that. Where is that made? I'm just. I don't know. Shit, they're probably made in China too. Shit, probably is. But shit, I already got my phones. I got my phones. I got my paper. Oh, like like do I, don't had a, I don't got them little charges. When everybody see their little monthly uh, installment charges go up, <laughs> that's all dead. I, I don't know how political we can get here. But I see this on, ending in two ways. One, collapse of China and everybody switches and now everything's like made in India. Or two, we, we about to have a war. <laughs> like, yeah. Because China's economy is really built on this. If you take that away, like be it's either starve or star shooting Americans. Up. Hey. How do you go give in? Yeah, or give in, you know. Yeah. Uh, why yeah. we put this thing on them in the first place? Because they... Trump about that action. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't done my research, oh. but last time they, um, America already owes a shit ton of money. They still, so, I mean, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, yeah that's, we still owe a lot of reason why. why. And they still a lot of IP from the U.S. Oh. Uh, and mainly because they, uh, they, just, they say we're going to fair trade. Trump's had China enough. Tariffs on U.S. products. Mm. Oh, okay, well. Thanks for keeping us informed, resident. Um, mm-hmm. <laughs> that's I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm also a lawyer. Foreign affairs. So, you know, and yeah. he also <laughs> support my claim. To the throne? To the throne. Wow. <laughs> All right, wow. Wow. <laughs> I already <laughs> see the crazy guys. <laughs> Damn, Damn, take bro. the throne. Yeah, like, <laughs> <see> <laughs> y'all don't see the crazy guy. <laughs> oh, you got to take him down. You got to <laughs> put him down. I'm going to become CEO first day of my right, the, the podcast. Oh. Wow. Nobody even come back. Damn. And I told y'all, I said, look, look what y'all niggas did, bro. And he goes, look at what y'all niggas did. You gotta kill me. You gotta kill me now. I'm not. Shit, I ain't John Snow in this story. Fuck, bro, you making it seem like I'm Cersei, nigga. So basically, I'm gonna just be dead. And y'all niggas just gonna be like, dead. We done fucked up. So we we need to find somebody in a wheelchair that's gonna come out of nowhere. And, uh, oop, my bad. Spoiler alert. And uh, replace <laughs> all these other niggas. No, we ain't seen it by now. That's, That's true. Hey, come on, stop it. Man. Hey, but Some people be blind, that, bro. Some niggas still seven, ain't seen so Endgame, bro. Out. There's still people who ain't seen this Endgame. This nigga ain't seen Endgame until literally less than a week ago. So this nigga's really got it. <laughs> I'm saying my cousin saw it on Saturday. I'm like, damn, bro. I mean, I think that's different, though. Because if you watch if you watch Game of Thrones, why are you going to wait two weeks to see the last episode? That's just, if you ain't got HBO, uh, you Some people like to binge it. Yeah, that too. If you no, want to Avengers you. like fuck them. They they, they gonna get spoiled regardless. But if you like up to date, why you gonna wait with tweaks? Shit, maybe something yeah, happened. Yeah, I'm gonna HBO. Already a Hulu man. Niggas are just gonna wait for you. Got HBO account. Or it'd be like, hey, you ain't got no friends. You pay for that one month free joint. Yeah. Then it disappear. You like shit. I gotta figure something out. Yeah, yeah man. I think you don't, <laughs> under, you don't understand the thoughts of broke niggas. I think yeah. that's what it is. Cause you an iPhone. Yeah. You ain't been well, you can pay your bills true. every month. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm like, I'm like, you know? hey, well, you ain't have to think about which bill about to get skipped. Yeah. What excuse you about Sometimes to Sometimes you got to make that choice between eating and watching that Game last of episode. Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah. Think about it. If you if that's the choice, you know you eat meals less than nine ninety nine, bro. You definitely not eating a meal yeah, for more than that. <laughs> Is it? Nice. Bro, I bro, could get I you could get twenty meals. nuggets could for could three bucks at BK. Uh, you don't even mean ten ramen noodles for nine ninety nine. What's talking about? Ten? No, you get twenty five. Yeah, I'm about to say, I'm like, yo, what are you talking about? Ten? I was thinking about the dollar cup. I was like, you ain't never had the dollar cup. I mean, I guess, oh, yeah. but yeah, that's more work, huh? How many do you think you can get? How many you get I think for ten dollars, I feel like ten ten for ten dollars is a lot. No. Is not a lot. Sorry, you I could feel get like you could get more for ten dollars. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. Seventy cents or something. Like that. Yeah, so I would be shocked to say that you. I'm like well, eating them yeah, real. It was made by real Asians. No, you get no, a twenty. They got a twenty-four pack. You will think you get it, and the tax take take it over that ten. So, well, speaking of food, segue into cut the check. Uh, Cut it. You know, brush brushing your teeth. Mm-hmm. Some people do that after they eat. I thought that was a good segue. I think it is. What? Oh, cool. Wow, you agree yeah. with me for once? For what? I thought that was my opportunity to set me up there. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm a <laughs> I'm a benevolent ruler. All right, like. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take this chip. <laughs> 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 okay, go ahead, Gribs. <sighs> All right, so I'm not going to say that I definitely uh, would fuck with this product, but I want to I want to hear you guys' opinion on this uh, unit brush, uh, toothbrush, toothbrushing, reimagining. What? It's, uh, based off of what I'm seeing, you essentially just uh, put this fucking get ready for the pause. Put this fucking thing in your mouth and let it sit there for like six seconds, and then I guess spit out whatever. <laughs> 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 that was like tolerable at first, dude. <laughs> Spit out, killed it, bro. That, that's no now way you can't about this shit without it being a pause. <laughs> and then fucking spit out, I guess, the toothpaste or whatever um, cleaning product that's on it. And surprise, my shiny teeth and me. And Wait, so you're saying it'll be like it's completely done after the six seconds? Yeah. Six, six seconds, and then your teeth are clean? They're straight saying up? it covers it all, yeah. Just, Nigga, that should say $1,500. No, that's how much they raised so far. Oh, this I was like, I was like bro, I let my wow. teeth fall out, bro. Yeah, that's crazy. Right? That's cr- like that's like some legit. Can so you stick it in your mouth and then like, and you done. I don't even think it's like. Wait, anyway, wait, Gramps, is it a machine or is it literally just the chemical compound doing the work? Yeah, it's just, just the chemical. You, you're not. Yeah, it's just the chemical. Literally fighting down, and I, I'm guessing it vibrates or whatever. Yeah. Oh, it does. Okay. And, do everything. and since you're biting down on a foam product, you know, since, uh, well, it's able to, like, surround your teeth with that, uh... They better show it in action. You said it, they, they gotta show it in action. How the fuck are you gonna show it in action? It's inside somebody's... We watched, watched the video, video, bro. Yeah, but the person is just simply biting down. I mean, they can do the 3D yeah, visual Yeah, 3D well. rendering. It's 2019. <laughs> That, that was definitely shit. some odd dick sucking. Yeah, it was. She went down at the They tried to begin things and buy this with sexual wow. subliminal messages. Wow. You see how she went down afterwards, bro? That's funny as hell. I definitely think white people trying it first. Oh, without a doubt. Mm-hmm. You know, black people. There's nobody that needs to say time in your mouth. Man, bro. Six seconds? No, that's crazy, bro. I mean, I get it, but like, you gotta always think about what problem is that solving. Who's getting up in the morning talking about like, God damn, it take me too fucking long yeah, to brush my fuck, teeth, man. Like, <laughs> all this work, there's definitely bro. some white people shit. Like, they're the ones definitely saying that. So. Or, or unless like you're trying to get that ultimate clean. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? yeah. I, I think that might be less about the time. Like, if I'm thinking about why I would buy it, mm-hmm. it's less about saving 20-something seconds and more about, like, oh, I can get, like, every corner. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Whereas, like, I might forget or miss if I'm, like, just I'm, brushing. I, I, mean, I know I'm not going to feel like it's clean without pause brushing. or vibration, bro. Yeah. What I, it's like That's something else got to happen. I mean, I just bite I mean, it depends. And then you tell me my mouth's clean. Like, I would really it. have to feel it. Oh, you need, some, you need to feel it. Again. Yeah. Like, no, I mean, like, pause. after I take wow. it out, I got to wow. feel wow. something. Pause. But, like... <laughs> <laughs> Wow. But I mean, like you know, after you 
brush your teeth, bro. Like the mintiness, you feel that I mintiness can't around that. your mouth. You I know what I mean? Yeah, sure, like, to me, like, the chemical in it is minty too. I guess. I think. I, I guess, but like, I, it's got to feel the same way after I brush my teeth. And do, you know what but what about your tongue? Or bro, better? Yeah, I was thinking that too. Do we get well, I mean, tongue? if it fills your whole, I mean, they uh, said six seconds. It's so uncomfortable saying. But I mean, if it fills up your whole mouth, though, I mean, your tongue is missing the whole part of the reason why people brush. Brushing your teeth is more for not breath not sticking. So if it's not getting your tongue, it's really That'd be funny say I got the teeth is clean, cleanest teeth, but the breath still stink, bro. Because they ain't getting my shit. They ain't getting my tongue. I mean, they could argue that it's just taking away the... They could argue that they're just taking away the toothbrush and uh, the toothpaste and stuff. The mouthwash. single they're selling for 109 The duo is 129 I'll wait 10 years. The family is 174 That's the price for those? Yeah, yeah. twin yeah. is 199 And the hospital... It's seven forty nine. That's good. That, That's what I'm saying. That increased out of control. No, so don't you know like electric toothbrushes? Right. Like we had cop them when they was like first a thing, and them used to cost like a hundred some dollars. True. I remember I had one. It was like it cost like a hundred dollars. I had to keep that bitch forever. Like if I lost it, that was an ass whooping. Now I literally bought like the same model I had when I was a kid for like twenty dollars. Yeah. Wait ten years, that motherfucker be twenty dollars. All right. I mean, or just gone. like video games. No, nah, video game been sixty for a No, nah, stop. I mean, like certain games, right? <laughs> Besides stuff for the Wii, those things never drop. Actually, inflation. You right. They did used to be fifty. You're not lying. That's what I actually played game too. The ten dollars. He dated himself, bro. He, he said that ten dollars did. Back when we used to ride on them triceratops <laughs> to GameStop. Both. Yeah, but no, um, oh no, um, I, I want to give a big up. So, I mean, I definitely see and see it becoming like a future hot product, though. Mm. I'm I mean, rated here's my up. thing. Yeah, here's my thing that I'm curious about that foam part that you chew down, that you bite down on. One, how long does that shit? How long does that shit last? Lies. And mm. two, how much does it cost to replace it? The replacement is definitely fifty, no less than fifty. Yeah, hmm. right. I think what they need to do, they already got the color scheme right. Just slap an apple sign on that hoe. That's it. People buy it 100%. <laughs> hey, well, hey, hey, just hey, put that apple in there. It's over with. You wait for apple. Yeah. They need a new product. So that could be. Ooh. That'd be a clean end right there. You know they what? got the color scheme and everything. Home goods. They, All they, they need to do doing everything home. Like, Pair with like, the eye home. Like Swift apple swiffer. Yeah. An apple and toothbrush. Well, I think Make up I, some I dumb shit like when you. Fall. You think so? Because I feel like, yo, he used to put out like one new Apple shits, yeah. but just one and like not oversaturate his market and just be like, yo, this the new Apple shits and they made it good. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that's why niggas go to Apple. You know, if you pick up a MacBook, it's decent. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I feel like, but if they put hella Mac shits out there, it's going to be that one thing that's weak. Bro, you know, my eye chair garbage. And that's it. <laughs> it's over for y'all. But see, what you don't understand is it probably is garbage. But <laughs> there's an Apple sign on it. I think the yeah. whole thing about them is like not being necessarily the first to market doing it. I think it's waiting until there's a like market. all the kinks have been worked out and then doing the product. Second, and then maybe improve it. Oh. Yeah, something else. I ain't gonna I lie. feel like that's better for them. Like smartphones, I were they the first movers on that? I don't know. I guess I, you could I, argue I, BlackBerry I, was kind of there. I think they the first the current kind of smartphone though. Where it's like the full. You yeah, know, that full touchscreen like, design. Yeah. So they were like yeah. first movers there, but then I think everything else I were no, argue, they weren't the first kind of with the touchscreen. No, not touchscreen. Full touchscreen. The, touch the form that it is now. Yeah, right? well, I'm saying they, they basically did what you said. There were niggas that had touchscreen phones out there. Yeah. Hell, there were touchscreen phones out there since like, like I mean, seventh grade. Was doing that shit. Yeah, touchscreen was, was the form what it is today. The yeah. form itself was pretty much the same from the yeah. original yeah. iPhone. Like, but that's what I'm saying. He said they didn't create the way they just. Like, wait yeah, till the case of knockout. The they, like, they, they, they implement the technology and make this. Well, I'm talking about, I thought you were saying that the first, like, full screen, this type of smartphone. Yeah, without a Because before it was, like, yeah. touch and keyboard. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. So I'm saying we're like the first ones to do the full yeah, I think so. smart, one like, slide. yeah, the full everything's touch screen type phone. I don't remember if it was them or somebody. I think they have buttons. We kind of get what you're saying. So, I don't know. But yeah, anyways, yeah, for you to brush, I mean, like, if it was cheap, I get it. Remember the first I, iPhone I don't think was it's like going to change the way I brush my teeth anytime soon. And niggas was no, like, yeah, that's no, too definitely much. Definitely no time soon. Not even saying the thousand. What happened? What? We were talking about the first iPhone was like 600. And niggas yeah. was like, that's absurd. Yeah. That's too much. <laughs> now niggas have dropped twice that on the iPhone. Like, <laughs> hey, bro. Like it's nothing. Like it's nothing. Either. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's only 1,000 this year? <laughs> Give me that. Yeah, on sale. Let me get about 15 of them. What? <laughs> Sell for eleven hundred. Yeah, it's crazy. It's 
crazy. Still ain't pay his car off, bro. <laughs> no, I was still laughing my ass off when the fucking gold plated um, Apple Watch came out for eighteen thousand dollars. Eighteen thousand dollars. That nigga was niggas were buying that shit. No, that makes sense. Though. That yeah. shit can't be. Bro, it just makes fuck? sense. Why Actually, not? wait, no. If the whole watch is gold, that that kind of makes Solid sense. Solid gold. Though. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Gold, yeah, yeah, I'd buy that's it. like a Rolex, right? Yeah, eighteen thousand. Just, just yeah. The fucking um, part of it is gold. I think it's like the uh, the bezel around it oh, is gold plated. Oh, um, okay. If it's right. gold plated, eighteen thousand. That's dead. But if it's solid gold, like you got a solid gold Apple Watch, okay. Yeah, that's gold plated. Change. I'm like, now y'all just selling it because yeah, this sounds Apple tacky. Mm. That's heavy as hell for a watch, dude. Oh, by the way, speaking of Apple, uh, they have started. They've made them. I found mm-hmm. them the other day. There are generic AirPods out there. Oh, oh, really I found a pair. Found a pair. Oh, yeah. I didn't know there was real or not, but I found a pair. And I like, <laughs> they're they're like, just like, like AirPods, bro. So niggas can really be out here false flags. Like yeah, for Apple I think I got a little I might get a shit Next week, you're going to see me with the fake joints. Hey, <laughs> I was thinking of getting them. I was like, let me cop. Because I was like, right. I was trying to come up with a gift for my girl. And I was like, oh, maybe I'll get her some AirPods. I looked at the price. I said, oh, I'm cool. This number right here. How much is it? I think it was like 20 Oh, no. Bucks. They'll definitely get you flamed. Like, yeah, because they peak. <laughs> high school, you <laughs> It'd be too obvious, but it's like, yo, bro, they did try it, though. I got some students that, like, they go out their way to point out niggas with, like, fake AirPods. Hey, you gotta have no, some fake no. niggas these, in these are slightly too long. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> bro, he's fake. You gotta have some of them niggas in school. Hey, about the new version of when niggas used to play somebody with the fake Jordans. Fake Jordans, Jordan, you got um, on them whoops. See, but the sad part is, like, did he did those kids go on to be appraisers at some point? Because they, 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 they should have just scooped them niggas up and been like, "Oh, y'all should just be some appraisers, y'all identifying all these fake items." Yeah. But no, nah, they just sitting on the block, <laughs> <laughs> telling more regular niggas they shit ain't, ain't real, bro. That's crazy. Like the niggas from a distance. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, yep. The main, the main, I'm gonna call him a uh, fake appraiser that I knew. <laughs> <laughs> just on the block, probably selling fake weed. <laughs> but he used to catch any nigga. Don't matter if he never saw you. Your George was fake. Y'all swoosh is backward. <laughs> swoosh is upside down type shit, bro. Y'all should say I, Jordan. Uh, I, I forgot to bring this up, but just uh, one random question for y'all. How long do y'all think GameStop is going to last until the official sh- shuts down? Uh, I think when we talked about this a while ago, Player Five had a good point. As long as kids need their parents to buy games, GameStop probably exists for a while. Until we like... Until our generation Yeah, our generation has, the has kids because then we go... You just However, watch it online. Mm-hmm. I'm going to say it's going to go a little longer. Now. I don't want to put a single race out there because I ain't trying to be racist. But we know that certain race that stay playing old video games... Uh, if you hop on Call of Duty 2 right now, you'll play on your Xbox 360, you know who going to be on there. Oh, you're talking about Venezuelans. Oh, uh, I ain't saying shit because I ain't racist. <laughs> Niggas from Venezuela be on Call of Duty 2, bro, all the time. <laughs> That's <laughs> y'all CEO, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you know, put that same thing you know with the Venezuelans, Look, bro. all I know is as long as they exist, bro, GameStop going to make it another generation or two. So by the time our kids got kids, yeah. that's what GameStop nah, will die. I don't need to laugh that long. In America, though? Hey, as long as it's some of them that's funny. Out here. No, no. I don't want to see GameStop I mean, popped I think up in third world countries. That'd be pissing me off. Amazon, Amazon. 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 GameStop yeah, popped up before like fresh water. Like, yeah, I'm like, 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 fucking GameStop in this third world ass country, bro. Yeah. Like I'd be mad as hell. Bro, you can get Amazon shit in one day, the same day you order it now. Like Amazon is gonna they put them out of business. Ah, uh, same. But day. Amazon, I Amazon games though. I think it's digital downloads that's gonna kill them. Oh, that saved that's my true. time. Like, if that experience gets better, I would never really want to. No, I was saying that because you, you said the parents thing. So, parents oh, are yeah. like digital. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah no, you're right. Kids. They will probably get it from somewhere else. I feel you. I, I mean, mean, GameStop should just be better at online business if that's really the case. Yeah, they online version of GameStop. Kind of suck. The only reason I go there is when I find out on another website they got like some sale or something. Then I might pop up on there, but it's still. You want to know crazy? Amazon cheaper than uh, GameStop. Where? Because uh, I just went to buy these extra. We controllers because you know my folks can't play it. Yeah. On in GameStop, they these were seventy nine. At uh, Amazon, they were sixty nine. Yeah. Wow. And I could get them same day. So I'm like, low key, what was the point of going to GameStop? The convenience. 
But like, what? I'm saying, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> wait, what? That's, what? That's, what, that's what they selling you still, bro. So they, they, like, the GameStop is going to be like Blockbuster. You don't change your model, you go on. You go hey, down. Whatever. Squeeze hmm. it out. They squeeze out as much money as they can, bro. I've been saying fuck GameStop. I hope I don't have anything in there. I don't think I got nothing. Stop in there. Game? No, I don't think so. I feel like I didn't tweet that bad. I don't know. Yeah, I was going to Yo, we for real actually got to make you not see it. You can't feel like that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if you guys will get the fuck off my back. <laughs> We, we, uh, hey, bro, open up your portfolio, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh. And this coming from the dude whose LG displays ain't still ain't doing. Hey, yo, 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 yo. yo. Well, when they come through, though, Go y'all should have sold what I sold. I bought it at thirteen ninety. Bought again at fourteen ninety eight. It is seven oh three. Okay, but because <laughs> I bought mine at seven, <laughs> and then they went up to fourteen, and then I I sold them. And so I came up again. no. Wow. You gotta know where the whole know where the phone. He was bro. he was selling it, bro. Hey, bro, y'all don't think about it. If you think about it, everything low key got an LG display in it. If it you think do. about this wall right here, LG. low key got an LG display in the back of it. Hey, <laughs> anyway, some niggas got got, some niggas did. Did we finish that cut the chat? I think we did. Pretty right. much. Everybody not fucking with the well. Everybody not getting it as soon as it dropped is what I got from that. Yeah, getting what the you know brush. The you know brush. brush. Uh, all right. I'm going to give it a couple years to see how many people's teeth fall off from this shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. All right. Well, okay. I'm, getting, I'm suing, bro. Let my teeth fall off. <laughs> give me that shit. What? I'll get some fake no teeth. Yeah. Hell of money. Hey, I mean, years. money's always good. Don't get me wrong, but nah. That's is been one of my worth, fears. Like, just is it all worth my losing your teeth? Oh, I had this real, real money yeah, yeah. what if. Huh? Depends on the amount. You but know. if all the money is just going to get you a new tooth is what I'm saying. You don't get to pocket none of that money. Oh, you just lose oh. a tooth and then you just... No, yeah, yeah, paper, yeah, you yeah, I mean, like, like, get like, pretty oh. expensive, don't they? Like, the traumatic effect. Yeah. Pain and yeah, suffering. Yeah, pain and suffering, that's what it is. It hurt to lose a tooth, uh-huh. and I lost my girl because I, yep. I lost my girl. Low key. Well, low key, yeah. She, yeah. she thought I was on crack. You can't put a value to that. It's a lot. So they got to pay you for real. No, in your face, you literally said, yeah, that's the value I want to put yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure you can put a value to love, bro. Yeah, they're going to be up. Yeah, they're going to be up. I'm not going to put my value off this, but I'm sure there's niggas out here who's offering enough money to sacrifice your love. Hey, that's all I'm going to say. I saw this money what if on Facebook, and I was wondering if I could run it by y'all real quick. All right. mm. um, and so what it was is like, hey, um, you get $10 million. Mm-hmm. You get $10 million, but here's the deal. Um, there's a snail that's chasing you. Uh, it, it just moves as a snail. And if that snail ever catches you, you instantly die. Do you take the $10 hey, million? What's, it, what's yeah. my distance on That's a snail? Yeah. What's my distance on a snail? Huh? You don't know. Can the snail open Oh, doors? you never know where he is? Um, can I see him? It can't die. So it is definitely a magic snail, and you can see it. Oh, you um, can't see it. You can see it. You can see so it. So it's basically oh, okay. face through whatever. Like, there's no way to really slow down yeah, you his can't face. really I stop just, it. It's so I'm constantly moving wrong. for the rest of my life. Maybe. No. Like, bro, it's a snail. It still yeah. moves regular it's snail face, right? You, I'd yeah. take that shit down. Yeah, right just now. go to a different oh. country. Bro, you I mean, can for yeah. at least years. Yeah, exactly. Like, <laughs> at least. Who was fast? Bro, we don't know. One year. Bro, every 10 years, move. Every 10 years, move. Y'all niggas don't know. What? And one day you're going to be I'm telling you. Y'all going to be like. Nah, you can do it. That's what I'm saying. You're going to be like 65. You're going to pull up. Are you dead? But it's cool. Or y'all going to be like, this snail don't need to stop eating. It's always dead. That's fine. It's a snail, bro. You got to take it in the time that you. You see? Uh, you a lot of shit, bro. I don't bro, know. you gonna move bro. What are you gonna lose? Exactly. I mean, even he's a magic snail. You know what I'm saying? But he still moves at the pace of a snail. Yeah. yeah. You know how long it would take to film the video? Yeah. It's still literally years, years bro. It's still too long. But I'm saying, you got yeah, a snail. Yeah, me too, bro. I was saying. <laughs> What's a snail's average pace? Yeah, yeah. we're gonna have to hit the calculator. I'm gonna look up this from here. It's gotta be like one mile per what? Four hours? Like. Point zero two nine miles per hour. Yeah, get out of here. Point zero two nine. Point zero two nine miles per hour. To uh, like and ch- it, it, it London is three thousand eight hundred seventy nine miles away. Three thousand. Three thousand eight hundred seventy nine well, miles. Wait, away. Wait, time out. Wait, I didn't hear Grants. What do you say? Three thousand eight hundred seventy nine. Grants, what you say? I said, but if somebody ends up carrying the snail to 
uh, that many hours. That's petty. Fuck, okay, six, you'll be thinking that it's yeah. sweet, that it's never. Oh, that's actually, okay, okay low-key, that's, that's true, though. Five, five, three, six, five. That's, that's 15 years. You got good 15 days. years until it gets here. Nah, wait, wait, turn up. Yeah. Nah, what Graham should say actually made sense. If, if the snail hitches a ride, that could be what? a big deal. That, that, that's not fair. It could. I mean, like, can't wait, you didn't specify? Hey, don't you gotta, specify. You I'm going to get GPS on that snail. You just know it's coming at you. I'm just saying you have to be, I'm not saying I wouldn't take money. I'm just saying, saying you have to be more worried than you think you would yeah. for that snail, bro. Because, like, you, you have to, like, when you sleep, like, he's that. getting okay. closer. <laughs> that kind of stuff, okay. If it was just You constantly have to be aware of when you need to move. And then are you going to move away from your family and friends every 15 years? Yeah. For, yeah. for money? <laughs> <laughs> Right, no, no, if it just arrives, that, that changes things up. I, if it, it, if it literally plane, had to walk and crawl, that'd be one thing. It gets but on if the plane, arrive, I'd, I'd, build, I'd be spending at least like the first ten years trying tough. to build like a space that floats. Oh, <laughs> and then just you, know. you think he can swim? Yeah, yeah so he can swim. No, no if I'm it's a magic, he fly though. If it's a magic snail, that makes sense. It ain't no. I don't know. Can I get away from him? He's coming. So regardless, he's coming. It's a matter of when. So it's just yeah. a matter of when. So yeah, I mean, but I mean, I could keep it going forever, but I just would have to keep moving forever. That's you would have thing. to keep moving. And then once he gets close to Europe, boom, let's go back. And then, you know but, but I'm still opening myself up to the regular risks of life too. Yeah. Which means I can still die on a rig. I'm not immortal until he touches me. But that snail like, immortal. I know. That's my thing. Like. It's that's the anything happen. You know, I always gonna take this to track it to follow the snail. Low down. key, that's, that's smart. just You just need that's GPS smart. on them. If I get GPS mm-hmm. on the magic snail, then it's doable. And then the one day that it fall off, out. Yeah. the one I day just you be, thought it was my sleep. biggest concern is that one day I'm be sleep and then I wake up and you do this. <laughs> <laughs> it's all you. Yeah. Just like, <laughs> that, that's, <laughs> that's my <laughs> shit. Yeah. Yeah. Don't type shit. Yeah. 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 I just don't like my, my sleep not being safe. That's yeah, it. You never sleep. All the other shit is tolerable. It all just got to leave the away. It just that the they thing that yeah, if I got, when I sleep, he's still moving. If I got moving. someone on him, I'd be like, <laughs> so my, there's literally something out there plotting your demise. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you got 10 mil. I wouldn't actually feel that way if I just had 10 mil anyway, to be honest with you. I mean, fuck. Here's my thing, bro. I don't think I can live that life. I'm just really? always knowing low key yeah. anything can happen and this snail could just like imagine if you chilling you like oh yeah. everything good you having a party and you just see it come around the corner <laughs> like you literally got oh shit you got to go everybody yo Jacoby what's up you knocking somebody mama over just cause this snail came in crazy imagine how that would disrupt your life 10 mil though <laughs> 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 I'm just saying. You're right, you're right. Too Complete debt. Go. What'd you do with ten thousand? You know the No fun. No. Ten thousand. I just ain't gonna give it a to you. Ten thousand. To live. First class. To live. You can. You can ride. Uh, economy, nigga, good. Easy. So you tell me you give me ten thousand, bro? That's like saying, right, hey, hey would you do that for me, chicken? They knock out all your debt and fifteen thousand. All that going for no, nah. no. <laughs> All that no. eight eight hundred <laughs> credit score. <laughs> nah, bro, you pretty much hiring an assassin to kill you from that All point. Like, that. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much, nah, it's man. like no, nah, dude. An assassin. Well, oh no, he tried to figure out how low we could go. That's what. Yeah, yeah, nah, yeah, yeah I, I, just, I know niggas go for ten mil. I'm good, man. I'll Would you go thing. for a churro and a honey? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, is it that low? <laughs> is it that low? <laughs> Just for a churro. Yeah. Hey, it's it's some people. nigga right now that's getting a PhD in some art that's like, yes, I'd do it. Just for the debt. Like, <laughs> how much school debt they got? Damn. There's some nigga out there. Wow. You know, this is uh, very similar to that movie, It Follows. Oh, yeah. yeah. That shit's scary, though. Oh, speaking of It Follows, bro. Hmm? I was watching the It trailer. That shit was fucking creepy. I didn't even peep it. I I was watching it when I went to go see John Wick. Like, yeah, you saw that with the old lady? That shit was tweaking me out, bro. There's this, like, girl. She go into this house. Mm -hmm. She like, oh, um, I used to live here or whatever. So this old lady, like, talking to her. She sit down, like, in the back. Like, imagine she's sitting here looking off into, like, here. And the old lady, like, in that little walkway. The old lady do, like, some weird ass, like, shake shit. Then they come sit down. She make her some tea or whatever. And then she go and look at this frame. This old lady <laughs> walk behind the corner. Same, like, little cutway. Then she, 
He comes out butt ass naked, bro. <laughs> As we start doing the weird oh, shit. Oh, shit. You I must have like, been down with that. I was like, what the fuck is going on? And then it turned into like the intro, and I was like, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> hey, nah, I got that scene what was crazy. Fuck? Let me see what? if I can find it, bro. Bring that to niggas' hood, bro. Because niggas gonna be like, oh, really? yo, that oh, granny bro. creeped me the fuck oh. out, bro. And it was just weirder because you like you in the movie theater, so you got that like ambiance of it. And I was like, yo, this shit is not oh, cool. Fuck. Right, there's too many horny niggas that'll be trying to fuck that old lady, bro. I can't go. What? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, know, what? I know some crazy ass post motherfuckers. They'll be like, oh shit, Grant definitely we have? I ain't bet. What? Hey, Gramps. Okay. You, you went to You went to S Dev shit. <laughs> and now this shit, bro. It got me thinking you went to some Hold weird on. shit, bro. <laughs> you one of the motherfuckers I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I can't hear shit, but oh, she crop dancing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, shout out to the coach. Get out. Okay. <laughs> well, can you shut that off and turn it back on? I'm wondering if I could get it to play out there. Oh, yeah, I ain't realize one no sound. Oh, you might as well pause it then. Man, how do you turn it off? Yeah, you gotta hold it. Oh. Well? I gotta turn this shit off. Boop, boop. But you know what they say about Derry? Hmm. No one who dies here ever really dies. She was you want to start your background again? Nah, it doesn't really matter, but I mean, if you want to see, I feel like just. There you go. Now some music. Tell the screen for a moment. I do apologize. <clears throat> It gets so very hot here this time of year. It's fine. When you feel like you could just about die. <laughs> but you know what they say about Derry? <laughs> no one who dies here ever really dies. That's so weird. That's creepy as fuck. I'm telling you this lady fucking weird, but I don't get it. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> oh, shit. But tell me, how is it being back in Derry? It's good. Strange. Strange? Oh, my. I had some cookies in the oven before you came. Stay right there. I shouldn't impose. I'm going to... No, 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 no. I insist. Your photos are lovely, Miss Kirsch. Are these your family? My father came to this country with $14 in his pocket. What did he do, Mrs. Kirsch? My father joined the circus. <laughs> I was always daddy's little girl. What about you? Are you still his little girl, Beverly?
was creeped the fuck out. That was odd. I'm that telling you, like, yeah, y'all saw the shit, right? Yeah. When she just walked by. Bro, it was creepier when she <laughs> did that little pop <laughs> <laughs> Ben and I make I'm good. God, and then the damn. thing is, like, I don't think she possessed, bro. I think she just owned that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm about to get naked. I'm like, what the fuck does it have to do with the fucking movie, bro? I didn't watch the first She one. decided she was going to get naked and run that thing. That shit creeped me the hell out. But, um, Ooh, yeah, so, so uh, segue, uh, Green Lantern versus Ben 10. <laughs> Perfect sense. Yeah. Turn oh, your shit. mic on. Uh oh. Can y'all hear me? Yeah, I got you. Yeah, you good. Oh, okay. Man, it's like it works for everything else, but it's not for Skype. Yeah. The speaker. I don't know why it's being stupid. Like Maybe that. it's a Skype setting. Hmm. Yeah. In any case, though. Oh, uh, yeah. So this Green Lantern thing? versus Ben 10, apparently the outcome was that Green Lantern won. Uh, don't know how. Uh, Graham, say something real quick. Nope. Still don't work. All right. Uh, but yeah, apparently the outcome was that um, <clears throat> Green Lantern won. Thought that was trash. Uh, I feel like we should flame these niggas, and that is why I brought it up. Flame who? Uh, death battle, motherfuckers. Yeah. Oh, no, this is a death battle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Green Lantern v. Ben 10. You can't hear anything still? So, like, I guess I'll go with my thoughts on it. It's like, I feel like, okay, so the way they did it, if you don't know, is basically he went back in time and just beat Ben 10. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's what he did? Yeah, that's how it kind of ended. You can tell, bro. Um, Apparently. Yeah, there are times where he time travels. But I feel like stuff like that is very much taking things. Like, when you when you do comic book verses, yeah. I feel like you can't really just be like, oh, I'm going to take every power. I feel like you got to use this thing called common sense. Sure, there are nerd <laughs> boys that are going to be like, no, well, issue 133, there's yeah. one time they did that. But, like, overall, that's absurd just because there are so many different writers and, and so many different powers they can do. And, like, the whole Green Lantern time travel thing is 100% something that is only used as, like, a story, like, narrative thing. It is never used, like, oh, in a battle. It's just like, okay, uh, this story needs you to do this thing. And it's, like, twice, three times that that's happened. So I think that's absurd. And it's just like, um, yeah, Ben 10 is kind of. All right. Oh, all right. See you. Right, see you. Uh, Oh, you just push press the lock, lock button. at the top. Yeah. Don't knock my shit over. Knocks my shit over. <laughs> no. No. <clears throat> All right. Yeah. But um, yeah. I just I think it's a bit absurd. Like Ben Ten is kind of a little overpowered, especially if we go on like maximum power. Uh, um, uh, Green Lantern. Why don't we go like Ben Ten Thousand then? True. You know, True. like. True. I think they did. I thought they let him go all that. Yeah, shit. I don't know. I just know the end of Oh, okay. Um, I mean, he went into Alien X. It doesn't really matter what other aliens you're having your watch. No, I still think even other aliens should be able to drop this nigga. And you gotta think, consider the fact that, like, it's alien, so you can't use none of that other bullshit that people try to use in verses where, like, oh, well, we don't know if Key will translate to this universe. No, it's alien. So that means he now has access to not only the aliens we already seen him have, but all the aliens in the DC universe. Right. And if you're telling me they're not an alien that can drop Green Lantern in the DC yeah. universe, I think you're tweaking. Like, you tweaking. That's the only logic. Like Superman. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's literally the only logic you need. Like, right. legit. Turn right. to a Super Saiyan? Boom. It, 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 if, if your whole like, argument right now is that a Superman would lose to Green Lantern, then it's like, what the, What are you arguing? Yeah. <laughs> and then on top of that, it's not even like Superman. This dude can literally do Superman Prime. He'll just like Superman. Then use that thing that like make the alien oh, a the thousand alien years version. older. Oh, yeah. And be like, Hyper Boom. Superman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you went back in time. Uh, I, I, I went back now. in time with Hyper Superman. <laughs> and <beat you> out. <laughs> I caught the Green Lantern ring before it came to you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I eat sons, bro. Like, <laughs> on the red. Yeah, and Batman sons. has literally taken this man ring off him. Like, give me that. <laughs> what? Well, first of all, <clears throat> we ain't even got to go that far. Like, I think this is so disrespectful. Green Lantern doesn't even be regular Ben 10. I'm talking 15 year old Ben 10. Damn. 15, ben 10 with was just way just big. 10 aliens. With just Damn. 10 aliens. <laughs> Matter of fact, get him way big. Green Lantern does not be way big. Period. I seen way big throw a nigga off a planet. True. <laughs> <laughs> Man. 
Superman be breaking this nigga shields regularly. Way big will smash through that shit and break that man's body. Yeah, they're for real tweaking. To be honest, I'm just like, bro. Do you, first of all, the for, uh, we're talking like somebody who I consider to be close to, if not a god tier character, versus someone I never considered to be a god tier character. So I'm like, if we barely don't Ben Tan can else. go one on one with god tier characters, why the fuck would Green Lantern <laughs> ever be able to see this nigga like on the reg, bro? Like, True. this nigga broke his arm once and couldn't use his ring. His ring needs to fucking recharge. Like that, those two right there should go. All right, it's a little bit like. Weird, like the fucking Omnitrix protects this nigga like at will. Mm-hmm. Like, he's like, oh, you trying to kill this nigga? No, we just gonna turn into whatever alien he Best. needs for that yeah situation. Like, True. nah, come on. Yeah, like it's, it's so absurd. Like Vilgax was like, I would say the Thanos of that world. This dude taking over the universe, strong as hell, got hands, yes. got armadas, and way big, beat that nigga since. <laughs> go, 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 beat that nigga like he stole some. Do you think Thanos will lose to the Green Lantern, nigga? No. <laughs> Beat that nigga up and way bigger. Slap uh, Thanos up. That was disrespectful. Ben 10, don't disrespect Ben 10 like that, bro. That's wild. It ain't too many niggas out here that can really be Ben 10. If Goku was a regular nigga, maybe. But he an alien, so he can't. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think that was for real tweaking. Like, come on. Like, did y'all even think about that? Like, just off that alone. You now open this man up to all the aliens in the universe. That should be it. Like the DC but honestly, universe. That should be it by that's, itself. That should shut it down. Like people talking about alien X, alien X. I'm like, he doesn't even need to pull out alien Don't gotta X, go bro. there. He doesn't have to even think about that. Y'all can take him out the equation. He still gets dropped. Like, mm-hmm. what? Honestly, Ghost Freak. Could Yo, probably Ghost Freak about season OP. one. Ghost, Ghost Freak could probably be <laughs> Bro, people were too sleep on Ghost Freak. Like, bro. Ghost Freak was so busted, the show wouldn't even let him use that for Exactly. Half of it. They had Ghost... to get it out the show. <laughs> Ghost Freak or Upgrade would probably low key bang Green Lantern. And we talking about full Ben 10, like 15 year old Ben 10, Ooh. Ben 10,000. Yeah. Bro, it's Alien X. Adult Ben 10? Ben 10 who can actually control Alien X? No yeah. problem? Stop it. Done. Bro, you better have him go fight Kevin Eleven or something. <laughs> <laughs> he probably do got a better chance against yeah, Kevin Eleven. Damn. But Kevin Eleven probably eat that ring and start start doing that shit. True, but he was made to get boxed. You know what I'm saying? He yeah. one of them niggas like, oh my power cold, but like yeah. I'm getting boxed every other day, <laughs> and you know what's gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? I might come up for the first ten minutes, but I'm getting boxed. Yeah. Wow. So damn, Kevin Eleven. Nah, Ben Ten just way too flexible, man. Yeah. I don't even, yeah. I don't even know why that was. Like, 10-year-old no. Ben 10, I maybe mean, out of shot. I think, the, I think the issue is that they're going based off of the strongest feats that each character has ever done within their comic book or TV show and so forth. But that's still and, think- they're, and they're basically assuming that you're at the strongest possible version of the Green Lantern where his will is, you know, unlimited, unlimited at, at this point. I mean, I totally get that, but I still go like... I still go back to the alien argument. Like, it still doesn't matter. Because if we're talking unlimited Ben 10, that means, like, he's master of what? Every alien in his universe. And he every can, alien. He can get whatever alien ultimate. he wants in the next universe. Like, he might not have access to him, but, like, the, he's fully mastered the Omnitrix. So, it's not going to be, like, a difficult feat to get some right. DC alien that he wants. Plus, he has that other thing where he can, like, basically pick whatever alien he wants and goes like, oh, what's your maximum Potential. evolution? Yeah. So you can take an alien that ultimate? already can G-G. drop um, Green G-G. Lantern at base form and turn that nigga to like a super dropper. Like, I can look at you and drop you. Exactly. Of, like, I think that that's... They're yeah. just... like they're, That's the part that bothers me about some of their death battle shit. I feel like they don't... They... What you're saying, they consider... Output, and this place has still made a mis- mistake, but they don't also consider the fact that like... How the person actually fights, like in general, because sometimes that makes a difference in terms mm-hmm. of like if you watch shows like JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, like there's lots of niggas who have better powers Stats. than the yeah. main characters, but it's the stress that caused them to win. True. But if you put them against like a regular character and just pure output, it looks like they gonna take the L. But I'm like, I've seen them drop niggas that like they shouldn't be they, able to right. drop. Like that's what they do. That's their powers. They outstrat niggas that mm-hmm. like. Are strong. Like, Plus, adult Ben 10 was pretty smart as fuck. Like, yeah. Well, shit, 15 year old Ben 10 was pretty smart. 15 year old Ben 10 
like without his little bullshit, oh, it's gonna pick for me. That dude was like very smart and like some people are like Ben, why you pick that for this? Boom. I'm I'm literally fifteen year old boy striding with intergalactic conquest. <laughs> True. Like this dude not a, a bum. He may not have the best school grades, but like yeah. True. when it comes to them hands, Ben was made for. Oh, hundred percent. You know, like that's just crazy. Get that forearm work. Yeah. <laughs> I was just like, bro, he got so many like aliens that would just like drop this nigga. It's like yeah. it's crazy. It's way big. Stop. I'd like be wondering, like, <laughs> was they smoking something in the writers' room, or were they just testing this out? Because I, I felt like, like if you really, really looked at it, like, and someone in that room was really a fan of Ben Ten, like it would be, I would be hard pressed to see what yeah. they could have shown me to convince me. Oh, you go back in time. All right, alien X can do that. I'm sure there's an alien in the yeah. universe that can time travel. I True. feel like them niggas was like not fans of Ben Ten, didn't watch it. It was just like, oh, Alien X is this one alien that he barely used and they can control the thing. But they didn't like watch the series yeah. to be like, oh, Alien X, God. So I hundred percent think they doing a redo of this, or like they gotta say something because everybody was like y'all goofy, y'all goofy. Like in the comments, like there was consistently like no one was agreeing with that decision. Yeah. So like somebody <laughs> fucked up. Hey man, this dude went back in time. You think Alien X will be like, hey Ben, you know they are gonna go back in time, <laughs> right. and you, which he will prevent is all this. Watching the timeline, bro. I feel like literally as soon as he go back in time, his thing will be like beep 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 boom. You ain't right. next now. He <laughs> <laughs> gonna step back in time because literally the Omnitrix do that. He gonna step back in time and be like, nope. <laughs> do you realize like that's that's another thing that goes to show is like if you remember like the Alien X thing, like when the, he first got into his body, they were like, all right, cool, we're glad that you're here. Now you can tie break all of our epic arguments. Mm-hmm. Right? Should we kill the dinosaur? I know. Like, <laughs> like, 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 first of all, they already did, but if you really think about it, like they see they're outside of time. They literally yeah. could go back. And just go like no, we not no, it. It's like and just change that shit. So they literally know that this nigga finna go back in time and go like, well, yeah, no, you can't kill him. Sorry, yeah, like, we need to like, <laughs> come on, bro. Yeah, that was a good one. Silly. God, the layers are goofy in that whole decision, bro. I'm just like, like Ben could probably box the entire. That see now it may sound like a goofy because I'm a Ben <laughs> fan. Excuse me if my Ben fandom go too hard, but I think Ben could box. Ben and his crew could box all the Guardians of the Galaxy. All the Guardians? Or Guardians of the Universe. Uh, basically, all the... Uh, all the Green Lantern niggas? Okay. I know. That sounds goofy. I feel you. I feel you. It do sound goofy. You mean all at once? Or just in general? Like, in a strategic war of conquest, kind of like how they go against Vilgax. Like, no. some dude that got galactic power. Mm-hmm. In a strategic war of conquest... I think they would end up beating them. If we talk about, oh, they run up on all 3,000 of them at once, of course yeah. they're going to die. What? So don't no, read I it. Even like, did, I, I might give it to Van Tan, bro. It's still aliens, bro. We still got to think. I mean, with the guard, like I'm talking about, they're just like, oh, a whole army of niggas. Like, I feel like the Greenlanders have gotten ran up on by single niggas before. Like the core itself. Yeah. And mm-hmm. all the niggas don't ever be there anyways. Like, it'd be like, oh, here are the niggas that's still on base. The niggas that we really need to do special though. shit. Here's the thing, though. He's being still the highest, like, aliens that can multiply to an unlimited. That's uh, true. Exactly. That's echo, echo. So echo, echo. can still no. outnumber these niggas any, anyway. Well, Echo, it's Echo, Echo is kind of soft. 3,000 niggas. What? Five, I eight. like that, Echo, Echo. Echo, Echo kind of soft. What's the one? Accelerator, whatever his Accelerator. name is? Oh, Accelerator. Accelerator. He, got, he got faster niggas since Accelerator. Like, what's really? his name? Uh, Jet Ray? Jet oh, Ray can true. fly and swim about oh, as fast oh, as Accelerator. Yeah, I forgot about that. And he got, like, a laser tail. Like, yeah. I use it. I use and like, that's base form. He ain't so even like, boof or buff. I said boofed. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> boof. Yeah, like I, boof. I used to be a big fan of Accelerate. Then I finally put some respect on Jet Ray. Like yeah. the point is that he can move high speeds on any kind of any surface. Right. Like <laughs> there you go. Couldn't yeah. think of the word. But no, I used to be like Accelerate in front of your face. Alien X done. Yeah, that's it. And I'm still not that's off. It. Like. Bro, way big. Like, <laughs> thousand times way big. Boom. <laughs> way big got head laser. That nigga turned into a Megazord. Way big a Megazord, bro. Like, <laughs> the moment he beat Bill Gates up. Does, does like Galactus count as a... Oh, sorry. This is Marvel, so I can't use him. But I'm sure there's, like, do those God tier ones, like the new gods and shit. They it, all count as aliens. The truth is, you don't have to be an alien. You just have to have DNA. 
Like if you have DNA, yeah, if you are a being, they ain't scan you. Like if Yamcha walked up, he could be like, oh, I scan Yamcha. This nigga above human. I'm that. Yeah. <laughs> like, buff, if you got DNA, man. he can scan you. Know Spirit ball. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. You, you don't have to touch him to scan him, right? No, oh, you man. did at one point. You what, back that shit, shit, but yeah, now you Oh, don't. for real? You can literally just like. Yeah, oh, Ben, he just scanned that shit. Yeah, dude. Nah, that's GG, dude. Oh, <laughs> that's way too easy. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, I'm like, Ben did nothing but like power scale this way, bro. Like, it's yeah. infinite. That's crazy. I'm still not yeah. off way big, bro. I ain't saying. <laughs> until you can be way big, you're not even in the conversation of what you're going to do to Ben. Hope you stay out of it. If you and that Superman kind of yeah. the only thing you get close, but he, boop. Oh, yeah, I know. So basically, he becomes him with like God, and then maxes him out. Yeah. It's like, bro, what? You gotta get an AI. Like only like right now, I'm thinking like a, a very like Ultron would be somebody that could box Ben because uh, he about came in like, Ooh, I'm him. Amazo got this weird like little DNA thing going, so uh-huh. I'm not sure about that. But but no, because it's way big, way big is Stomp Amazo. Nah, <laughs> but I mean, he had the whole squad shook. They just had to let him live. Who? At least in Justice League, amazing. Yeah. I, I mean, I feel you. He had the whole squad shook, but um, these niggas are still way big. <laughs> beat a nigga into the ground and threw that nigga off the plane. You know, came in with a rock <laughs> ass nigga. Yeah, bro. He's he, he <laughs> <hit him laughs> in the face. <laughs> he said he, he beat him into the ground and threw him like that. No. He like he just saying like, oh, he a caveman with a rock. You feel what are you gonna do? What <laughs> are they gonna do? Hey, he got laser beams, bro. This man. <laughs> Had a rock oh, in his God. head, and he was wearing nothing, bro. He was shitting on himself, bro. Are you telling me you laser know. beams, bro? Like, what are you talking about? That's it, bro. That's the argument. Wow. And then you throw you off the planet with <laughs> laser beams. You might, as well, you might as well pull up in their office and go way big. Way big. <laughs> way big. Well, I don't even the want to say they say, he go back in time. Way big. <laughs> way big. <laughs> Not just big, he, way he big. He can get big outside of time, bro. What do you mean? <laughs> he literally can't play with the time. <laughs> <laughs> he's fucking shaking that shit up, bro. Hey, that's my answer. No, dude. It's a B.O.P. Crazy. His ultimate version. <laughs> he's too big for time. I know. He's an ultimate version. <laughs> yeah, I'm outside of time. He playing with the timeline. That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a Yoink. Nope. Who would you rather chase you, Green Lantern or Ben 10? Trying chase to kill you, yeah. Trying to kill me? Trying to kill you. Green Lantern? Ben Ten. Wait, what? You'd rather chase so like, If I gotta Green run Lantern? away, I'm imagining I got galactic things to do with Yeah. Yeah, Ben 10, that nigga, like, once I'm gone, what he gonna do? He, ben 10 not find you? He don't know where that nigga at. Oh, I got you. You say he don't that got, 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 got resources to find you. What are you, Hey, I put a, a galactic <laughs> APB <laughs> out on him. How do you do? Ben, <laughs> low key, still a 15 year old. He probably, ah, that nigga show up when he show up. He wow. wants to know what about way big, bro. Now, we talking about I got to scrap with him? I'll definitely <laughs> scrap with the Green Lantern. I can beat that nigga with this yellow bag. Put some bricks in it. <laughs> ben, going like, way big. Oh, <laughs> I'm on the moon and shit. And I'm, that's some Saitama shit. Saitama <laughs> shit. <laughs> Hell no. Hell, dude. <laughs> uh, Anyways, more or less, <laughs> y'all niggas was fucking tweaking with that decision. No, that's bro. Cool. That was worse than y'all um watch uh well not worse than but y'all watched that original Death Battle show uh, that used to come on Spike. Oh, yeah. it was like Ultimate. Yeah. I don't know what Ultimate it used to call. I thought it was Death Battle, Death still, Battle but I forget the name. Huh? I don't know if that was the name. But either way, they did a pirate versus Sam, pirate versus ninja. I remember, oh, that. Yeah. I remember that. I remember that. And I was like, this is the goofiest thing. Okay, ever here's my thing. Bro. I remember that. Not to get into a whole other oh, argument. No. no, but fam, don't come on, man. You the pirate shit. had guns, bro. <laughs> Clearly, history has shown us guns beat all that ninja shit. I feel you. Niggas don't got ninjas no more. Niggas got guns. I get and you. And he did low key win on a. <laughs> but it's like espionage, though. Like this is the thing. None of that was taken into consideration. Oh. It was just taking like one v one. If they fight, who will win? And it's like yes, of course a pirate will win because he has guns. But at the end of the day, like who would really win that fight? True. The True. ninja, because so he's it, not going to like run up and have a direct fight with some shit he don't know. Yeah. He gonna get his shit straight. Block. Like, oh, they got guns. Definitely not having a face on face fight. Let me just get this nigga right, while he's right. sleep after he's drunk. 
fucking these dirty bitches. You know what? Hey. He's from. He is right. I, I agree. That's I agree. what I'm saying. <laughs> and it's the same goofy logic that they apply to these death battles, bro. Like, it's you gotta consider other things Big besides, straps. um, like power output. Yes, it works in certain cases, like Batman versus Superman, because they both direct niggas. None of them use stress. It's just mm-hmm. like, I'm just going to brute force my way through this. But like shit, where it's pretty obvious that the main nigga uses stress, like when you're talking about Naruto characters, besides Naruto, everybody else uses some type of stress. That's what that shit was founded on. So if you use them, yeah, their power output might be less, but at the end of the day, them still fast-ass ninjas, bro. And if you could get cut in the throat. That's the same thing, my whole argument with Gar versus... Uh, uh right. what's that? Toph. Toph. I'm like, um, y'all just disrespectful. Like, Gara is ninja, and as we've seen from human perspective, ninjas be like, shh, shh, shh. like, what? Toph is a 10 year old girl with no karate. She's gonna be like, hey, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. Man, y'all some goofies. On the mega highlights, I guess. Uh, before that, y'all want to do Shiro now or later? The, so the overview, the Shield Hero. Up to y'all. Oh, we can touch on it real quick. All right, so uh, we've all been watching uh, Rise of the Shield Hero. Some are farther ahead than others, a.k.a. me way behind. Um, but uh, we just want to give a brief, like, I don't know, first impressions, I would say. We've all watched at least three episodes, so I think we can speak. Well, I can speak to three episodes, and y'all probably can speak a little bit farther than mm-hmm. that and how we feel about it. I just watched it today, so it's pretty fresh in my mind. Yeah. Um, Yep. Who want to kick it off? Um, uh, I'm going to just start by saying that this show is basically what Sword Art Online should have been. Okay. That's what I'm going to start off by saying real quick. All right. I would would argue that from what I've seen in the first three episodes, it seems like a great fusion of part of what Sword Art Online used to be, but a lot of what Goblin Slayer was, where it was was like a lot of the... um, like, at least in the first three episodes, like, their first wave, I got through the first wave, happened already, right? Okay. But it's like, at the end of that, they were, like, pretty much like, oh, my God, look at all the people that got saved, right? Yep. And then they made this one sly comment that was like, oh, we had a minimal amount of casualties. I was like, oh, that's a Goblin Slayer moment. Like, they was like, oh, you really did the real work, because if you didn't do that where he, like, saved a village... All them niggas would have been spilt from the demons. But yeah, the wave would have ended because all the heroes are fighting. But you still would have lost hell alive. So I felt like he does a lot of Goblin Slayer type shit too in the background. Um, no, low key, keep watching because that's exactly on. At least I, I, I completely agree with you, oh, okay. what I'm saying. Like that the show pretty much supports that hardcore as episodes to uh, as episodes to pass. As other heroes be doing basic video game hero-ish. Shield hero, pretty much cleaning up the messes that their mm-hmm. hero ish be causing, yeah. and not thinking yeah. about the actual repercussions of their actions. Yeah, because they are playing with. like a video game. Exactly, yeah. with niggas' lives at stake. Like this is like <laughs> real life, and they playing it like a video game. So they're definitely using those Goblin Slayer aspects where it's not, it's not always the most important thing to be the hero on the very front lines doing the war. It also matters about the people actually suffering while all this is going down, too. Mm-hmm. And that's who the Shield Arrow is about. So, I put respect on the I show. Mean, you, can, you can say it's also trying to get into this whole uh, racism issue, you know, with the half-humans. The demi-human? Uh, True. Full-humans and all this shit. Yeah. True. So. I thought that was interesting. Um, I actually like for... Because I'm not a big fan of... Uh, I guess it's called Isekai, but I'm not a huge fan of them usually because I feel like they over-integrate the video games into the anime, and I hate, like, it's a game I'm never going to play. Usually they're not selling the game, so it's like, I'm not interested in the aspects of the game world necessarily. Like, I care more about the story, and the ones that I've liked so far have been ones where they don't lean so much on it, but I would say that this show... Does a good job of marrying the um, actual game aspects into the show to where I don't feel like bothered knowing about them. Like True. I do, I am actually interested in all the fucking shields he has access to, True. and I don't mind reading like the little blurbs about him because I'm like, oh, okay, like this is actually useful to the story. And then like some of the aspects, like the curse aspect and all these other things, I like the way like. The world believes it is real, but in his mind, you can see it through, like, the video game lens. Where I felt like some of the other ones, like, when I watched Overlord, I liked it because they really... it was He was in a video game, but they brought up none of the 
video game aspects. They just expect you to kind of like know them, but it was more like on the realism side than it was the video game side. Like never mm-hmm. saw status bar, never saw HP. You just he just knew the concepts, but we were assuming he was in a real world. So, no, they've been. Uh, I, like I mean, that. just as in like an anime in general, I think they've been uh, doing pretty good with that. At least comboing with these kinds of um, out of uh, otherworldly kind of anime. Because even um, the uh, I was once reincarnated as a slime. I mm-hmm. feel like has a good feel, uh, like similar to feel to this anime too, okay. where they bring up like video game aspects just enough. To remind you that this is still based off a video game, but also keeps it real. Because mm-hmm. they don't, like, bring it up a lot at all. Yeah. I think it's like they're um, they're definitely bouncing out pretty effing well. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Not to mention all, like, the character in... No, no, let's say the, uh, the character development in the anime that you probably wouldn't get as far as uh, in um, some other old school, um, otherworldly anime where they just focus on, like, video game and, like, basically video game harems. A uh, decent amount, too. Yeah. Um, but no, it's good. It gets, it gets crazy, man. Those first, like, the, that first episode, just alone. Like, I pretty much had, like, the same, like, Goblin Slayer feel almost. Like, yeah. what? You did them that dirty, though? Know? Like, it's crazy. No, like, what? Well, because I remember last week when we were talking about it, Player 5 was like, yeah, they on it with this nigga from Jump. And then as soon as they landed in the world, the king didn't even ask for his name. I was like, no, nah, he not lying. They was like, <laughs> with, <laughs> with this nigga from yeah. Jump, bro. Like, they was like, who? I thought. And then he said who he was. And then he just kept going. <laughs> <laughs> he just kept going. I was like, yo, they ain't so petty. God, I, like, I thought Asta was going to be the epitome of niggas being on it with nah, you. No, dude. I watched this. I was like, bro, Asta no. got it easy. Niggas <laughs> are now fool me, like, for real, for real. You like, ain't shit, fam. Yeah. Huh? Like, literally. <laughs> like, literally. <laughs> they didn't do nothing, though. And then the setup was like, I actually, like, I don't know. He got me. I like the show because I felt like that through that first episode, I got invested in, like, yeah, wanting man. him to fuck this woman. Right. Because what old girl yeah. did was so petty. Like, was so and I was just like, bitches, bro. Yeah. <laughs> it was hot. Like, I was, like, really mad. Like, I was like, you know, right? I was just where I will really want to be his ass. Because right. I would be like, the grind to come up from that, like, is monumental. Like, this nigga, like, for real, like, all right, I got to show all these motherfuckers. No, I would really be up. on it with these real people because I'm like, bro, I get these video game characters, bro. They they, they hate me because they was programmed that way. I was like, you a cold ass man, bro. And you yeah. try, I'm, I'm going to beat your ass. Like, <laughs> I, I'm like, bro, you better, you well, look from different worlds. I guess cause I, 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 don't, you in the real I don't care about spoilers, but did they reveal that he did set it up? Because where I'm at, they just kind of like, he said, oh, I think he set it up. So I was just no, like, oh, is this in his head? Story, or did he? Decent amount. Oh, okay. You pretty much get it all. Yeah. Ooh. Another thing I'm wondering is like I actually get to tell my favorite part of the favorite part of the show. Oh, go ahead. Where uh, the, where the queen actually comes back. And oh like, yeah. yeah. He calls them to set you up or whatever. Yeah. Kill them or um, <laughs> or I can imprison them. I can chop all the arms off, or whatever. But it's all based on what you want. What what you want to happen, show hero. That nigga looked at them. And he was like, "Kill them, motherfuckers." <laughs> 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 That's why I was like, that's one thing I do like about this anime. It's like, real. I ain't gonna repeat basically all the stuff y'all said. I, I like too, but that definitely is like where he just be like, you expect him to do like some like shonen y type shit, and he just be like, no, I fuck with these slaves, fam. Like, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm like, yeah, I buy a slave from you, buy slave. They get like, oh, kill Bro. these niggas. After day one that he got mistreated, it was like it was all understandable. I mean, yeah. it, was, it was literally him versus the whole world. No, I'm sure like, was like it, it was like he had literally no choices, and he got it where he could. But and they be trying I mean, to tell him shit. Like I was just like when they because I was at the part where he he's fighting um dude right now. The I guess her first. I don't know if he fights some more after that. But like uh for to free the slave chick, oh, and I'm okay. like yo goofy like because it's so hypocritical because dude who introduced him was like yeah. All of the demi humans are slaves. We consider them slaves, and like in this city, it's not the best for them. But the king has to go. Oh yeah, yeah he was should free the slave. I'm like, nigga, y'all know that y'all keep these the motherfuckers as slaves. Like you sound goofy. Like, that's how I know. I'm like, bro, that's crazy to come into a world where you treat a lower than a black man as slave. <laughs> a nigga like, no, nah, I'll free this nigga yeah. for you. Get something. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine that? Yeah. Like, damn, bro, that's how much they own it with this nigga. You got less respect than a slave. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah, you know, that's crazy. The, the one thing that definitely surprised me, I know um, 
it's one of the player fives, uh, you know, best things when it comes to shows like this is the, uh, the romance aspect of it. You like it? When, you know, every fucking female in the show was like, oh man, I gotta get this dude, I gotta get this dude, and they were all, you know, not the show, you trying to get out of the <laughs> The romance in this show didn't exactly bother me, and that's that's one thing that I found very surprising, especially when uh, Ruff Talio was uh, was trying to have like romantic moments with him, and then oh, yeah. out of nowhere, like, bitch, get a belly. I know you're trying to fuck. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Philo, man, low key, low key. Man, I, I'm gonna give her. I might yeah. give her my MVP. Of the Here's league. my thing. Philo, my girl, yeah. man. Philo, um, legit. I just gotta say, like she the uh, chick that turned to a chicken. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> I seen her in the, um, in the opening, so I'm like, oh, we Dude, gonna meet this legit. her at some point. My uh, my thing with like the romance is that like I didn't mind the Ralph Talia one after they explained it. Like, no, our species grow up pretty quick. Like, I'm not a kid. I'm an adult. Right. I'm just like not as old as you. Mm-hmm. But like the Philo thing, sometimes Philo is just like being a kid, sometimes it's kind of like harem-y, and I'm just like I've never been a big fan of like lowly harems, bro. Yeah. I'm just like, can we get a, just a straight up adult in your harem and then I'll be cool. You know, it's yeah. just a bit much for me. But Philo a real nigga. Like, I ain't never Philo thought I would put more respect on a chicken I'm than a dragon. Right? I'm <laughs> telling you, dude. She's she's lit. Lit. She's I'm lit. like, bro, that I would I would die. I know I would die because I'm like, bro, fuck your weak ass chicken nigga. I kill this and make dead. You yeah, ripped the hell. Philo be out here no. murdering niggas. And which is funny because like considering her main rivals are dragons, mm-hmm. it's almost like they literally spoke to that. Just being like, yo, dragon. It'd be crazy how like like they you. I, I noticed this in one episode. I can't remember it. Where Rob Talia and Shield Hero are like purposely not killing these knights. They just knocking yeah, them out. Yeah, yeah. But Philo like murder <laughs> you did you did <laughs> you did 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 you Oh, is she like from the God. same clan as this chick? Yeah. You, are, you, you have to see, bro. No, you All just right. keep just, watching. Bro. Just know that'll be the terror of your life. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for real. Oh. <laughs> bro, it's crazy, man. That's it's crazy. She's honestly too OP. She's too OP. Yeah, actually, I, I thought about it like you. a lot. I got a question for you. Yeah. As as a person who fears birds, <laughs> would you be afraid <laughs> of a dragon? <laughs> Uh, I would be afraid of a dragon if it looked like a bird. Like, I was, like, I was cool with velociraptors until I found out they that were they chicken. were, yeah, made from chickens. And they said they would actually have feathers. And I was like, yeah, I probably wouldn't fuck with a velociraptor if I seen it. Yeah, I, uh, there's, <laughs> there's solid evidence that birds are just dinosaurs. Yeah, I know, which is fucked up because I'm like, yo, all it takes is one fuck up and then I got <laughs> something I can't take down. <laughs> the feathers, bro, looking at me, bro. And I see them looking at me in these streets, man. They watch it. They know I know watch it. They know I know the secret. Yeah. <laughs> Another plus I give it so far, I'm only four episodes in, but I really do like the characters and like kind of the character development. I don't feel like um, now Fumi's choices are like totally goofy. I feel like it makes sense, like kind of the route he's going he's for. I've seen guy. in the four episodes. Exactly. The chick thing, like. The slave thing, I thought, okay, he's going to be like a dick for a while, but at least we're met in, like, the fourth episode, um, he kind of, like, slowed down on, like, using the curse thing. He used it for the first couple episodes, and I felt like it made sense, because it kind of pushed her to, like, get shit done, or else she would have been, like, a bless you, baby back bitch, like, the whole time. Right. So, yeah. and then I see that he chilled on it after, like, they got their little level up, so. I can say this, though, uh, that I appreciate that he, he chills out. But he also, like, is not afraid to let them niggas know, like, this is an order. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. refuse if you want to, but you know what you're going to get. You know what I'm saying? Like, so. Nah, he keeps, it, he keeps it real through the whole show. That's, like, one of the best highlights of the show. Well, especially, especially when, you know, he goes to a village and everybody's poor as hell or whatever. He goes over to help them. And they're like, oh, man, yeah, thank you. Thank you. We ain't got shit to offer you or whatever. Run it. You know, like, can we do? He was like, no, you can give me something. Yeah, for real. Yeah. Run it. Yeah. The bill do this. Oh, we get paid every time. Why well, don't do this shit for free? He gets paid, <laughs> paid every time. He need that money, though. Like, for real. But I see it, like, because I, I like how they do stuff like that. I didn't get to that part, but I see him doing, like, what looks like petty stuff. And then they'll give you, like, a scene later that explains, like, 
not in detail why I do it, but he'll say a thought. Like, he'll be like, all oh, these, like, the wave's coming in, like, the next month. Like, I need clothes and shit. Mm-hmm. So, it's like, bro, I'm not doing it to, like, just be, be a dick. dick. No, I mean, it's it's like, I, like, literally need this money so that I can save y'all lives like, yep. later that on. That nigga <laughs> not worried about juicing niggas for everything they want. True. Yeah. Oh, no, you got an extra quarter in there. Somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> do we still Check every couch, now? nigga. The <laughs> things where he stopped at. He Wait, what? Is he too strong now? You don't carry around the body things on Bro, I think he low-key keep on strapped just in case. <laughs> but he definitely too strong for that. But I think yeah. just in case the nigga act up, he stays strapped, bro. I did like in the, the first uh, wave how they still kind of emphasize that he ain't shit. Because, like, he um, was like, oh, I'll take the bait and, like, kind of bring all the zombies to me. And then he ran up while all the people were being attacked and, like, punched the zombie in the face. But really didn't do anything at yeah, all. And I'm like, oh, you did all that training and you just... You know what I mean? You really are just defense. Oh, his training like, is very much slower than the rest of them. Yeah. No. He still ain't got attack type powers? I feel like they got to give him something. They gave him more. Because that was the other thing that pissed me off. Like, I saw him use it, and which made me more mad that he didn't use it in the other one. But, like, in his battle versus uh, the dude, Spear Hero or whatever, he used, like, that uh, air shield attack as, like, a weapon kind of where he, like, jammed him with it. No, he gets creative And, and I was like, oh, why didn't he just do that when he had them all on the tower? He could have just made a big one and, like, literally just squashed them niggas, like, with the, yeah. with the airstrike shield. You can just argue better. I'm just saying, he, he should that. just push a nigga off a cliff with his shield. That, too. Splat, they did. No, nah, you could just argue as time goes on, Homie gets really creative with his powers. He's See, a smart guy. That's my thing. Yeah. I think he's getting creative, but I don't want to say really creative. Like, I feel like this this anime has the potential to be like uh like Death Note Stratty. With like how many shields that nigga got. That's true. This could get Stratty as fuck. He medium Stratty. Mm-hmm. It okay. could be way more strats than this, and I think I would like it more if it was. Yeah. If like he really like thawed out through like all these That's like true. hundreds of shields. He got a couple hundred and used like five. Yeah. That's true. Question. He's still question using rope shields? Question rope. for the niggas that <laughs> rope shields. Seven deadly sins. Never. Is, Wait, what? I'll say his ultimate powers uh, so far. Is that shit getting close to uh, seven deadly sins on well, I ain't read. Uh, I ain't watched 19. I would uh, assume no. no. If he's not cutting a mountain in half, no. I'm just assuming no. Nah, I mean, like, don't get me wrong. That, that that last move that he pulled out a couple laps ago, I think that's pretty OP. But not Seven Deadly Sins OP. Yeah, no, nah, I haven't watched 19 and 20 because they ain't come out dubbed yet. So I'm on you. I'm just saying, episode one of Seven Deadly Sins was a dude cut a mountain in half with a stick. That's like, <laughs> that is where you start with the yeah. Seven Deadly Sins. So, like, if I'm not seeing shit like that, like, what? Nah. I like, mean, to say anything with Toriko, like, Toriko, like, literally at one point, dude was materializing hands that covered the earth. And then we found out earth, that earth was like three times the size of our actual earth. So that means gravity is more, all this other shit was more. So I'm like, oh, so y'all even regularly, <laughs> your regular niggas are like by default stronger than our regular niggas. Like, chill out. Yeah. No, nah, I wouldn't yeah. go that far, Gramps. But he, no, he's getting OP though. Last thing I would bring up is in the very first episode, they talk about um, like he must not have any charisma. I don't know if they play on it more in later episodes, but like, is that a thing? Because I didn't know if they were trying to like tailor that back to like his actual stats, or nah, like if you looked at nah, his stat tree, nah. it's like he's I ten think, in defense and he literally has nah. zero in charisma and just never gets like yeah, developed. I think what it is is they were just doing like you were saying, where you make these small nods to video games, yeah. but you actually never show it. Mm-hmm. So like, I don't think you ever see a stat of his except like level. They showed it in the very beginning when they looked at their, like, uh, tree, and it had, like, a breakdown. But I, I wanted to go back and be that guy who, like, conspiracy theory, like, look, oh, was charisma on there? Was that shit zero? But I didn't do that, so I was wondering if the they brought it back up at all. The only thing I think is really important uh, is that maybe you could take note of all the main heroes' levels. As the shows goes on, yeah, but like, as far as all the singular stats, no. Yeah. But what I've come to find out from even like the last time he's got a quote unquote upgrade is that homie is levels on levels lower than all his counterparts, yeah. yet still OP. Uh-huh. And that you got to yeah. get big ups for. So I think he's literally like half of like the spear guy's level, though his defense. I mean, his, the shield hero yeah. defense is stupid. They're full petty. Like, for, <laughs> it is, but like they're full petty for. Um, how they, uh, cause that, oh, two things, sorry, that made up two things. They're petty for how 
his level up happens because it still always has to happen through somebody else. And then Pretty after much. a while, you know, because at first I thought it was equal. Like the first couple no, kills, it was equal. Then you realize it's like significantly lower. So I'm like, damn, bro. Like if he's supposed to be the shield hero, like they really did this nigga petty. Because it's like, how is he really supposed to level up? Exactly. If this like story didn't happen the way it was. Exactly. Like he can't actually kill anything. Then the second thing is, I don't know if they're trying to say that. Because he's a shield hero, like one of those nod things again, his like actual body defense is high too. Because I feel like a lot of the fights he it had is. in the beginning, yeah, yeah, like he was is. getting bit up and shit. I'm just like, this is odd. Like, <laughs> why are we not questioning this? Or like, like in the war, I think this big ass orc tried to like slam me. He was just like taking it. I'm like, ah, yeah. uh, like I guess his regular body defense no. is up there his just entire, by default too. His entire defense is stupid. So you know, like, for example, one of those balls are biting him. Yeah. He does zero HP damage. So he's just walking around with them chewing on him, doing no damage at all. Right. right. Or his health regenerates quick, too quickly. Well, but, uh, I don't know about up. that one. I think it's more, more about, about the story defense. is, this is a show about the other universe niggas are fucking insane. Because, real talk, if I drop down into a video game and I'm like, oh, we in a video game world, I have a hub, and then somebody was like, hey, bro, this other human nigga raped this video game girl. I'm like, fam, this stuff a little too real. That's a little weird. But I'm not about to try and kill you over it because you a real person. And these <laughs> niggas are video games. Uh, to me, I thought they were more goofy just on like how they came. They just didn't seem real. Like when they landed and then he was kind of like, what the fuck's going on? And they already like, yeah, we want this money. Like when they were like, oh, we summoned y'all. And they were like, oh, well, I never said I was going to work for y'all. Matter of fact, <laughs> let's go talk to the king and see what he's going to give us for work for y'all. I'm like, nobody questioned that these things sound like straight assholes <laughs> from jump. And mm-hmm. then they just be making asshole ass comments. Like as shield heroes doing shit. Like before the fight, they like added in their two cents and everything. I'm like, nigga, who the fuck are y'all? I was like, like, first of all, the first thing where it was like, oh, Hitler won World War II. Yeah. I'm like, no, Kill you shit. shut your dumb ass up. <laughs> I'm like, because y'all are a bunch of goofy yeah. bitches. I'm like, so you don't get to talk no more. Right. It's probably the spirit of the love. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> He's probably from that world. Because it's funny. I said that shit like, in the episode. I was like, no, I want to know the answer to this. Yeah. Well, I'm like, don't skip over that scene. No, no, no. I need to find out which one of the worlds won World War II. Yeah. The fuck? That's you know that, that, that spare hero nigga is definitely out there reading my buttons. I 100%. Nah, I think he's just a dumb tool, bro. Bro, he be trying to fuck that chicken. That's not playing. He, oh, he, he is. is. He, he got off the demi human chick? Man, he been thirsty. He be trying for... to fuck the little girls, bro. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> that nigga <laughs> definitely <laughs> World War II. He won. Every time she kick him in the dick, he be having the, the, the most sensual looking face. That's true, world. though. Like, yeah, he <laughs> He on that, he's so I just can't shit. wait till he beat this bitch ass, girl. His little the side bitch that set him up. I just want to see that. Wow. I don't want to see. I don't want to advocate violence against women, but I would like to see one of his oh, things nah, beat nah. him. She she deserves justice. I do. I'll she say she needs to get hey, beat. She deserves they justice. Game, they gave her one name. That you just call her side bitch. Oh, because <laughs> that literally becomes her name. Really? <laughs> That's what she is, man. <laughs> Bar, yeah, yeah overall, overall, I would man. say it's definitely but, uh, a watch. I'm hooked. Let's show, they watch got it, me. without a doubt. Whenever I watch, I, there's only been two shows I've tried to watch while I was driving somewhere. That was this one and Baki season one mm. lately. So, um, if, yeah, you make me watch it in the car, like, yeah, I'm in it. You got me in. Uh-huh. I'm risking my life for your show. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> hey, um. All right, on uh, the rest of these mega highlights. Mm. Wow. Uh, well, we start. Uh, my hero usually the starting point. Um, Boy, what happened last time? Oh, uh, twice, twice came up. They done fucked up. Yeah. Twice coming up, son. They done fucked up. That boy twice looked like he about to start some shit. Oh, yeah. That was so funny. He was like, yo, uh, if I break my arm or something, I might turn into a thing. Then as soon as they broke, I was like, all right, well, foreshadowing for sure. <laughs> then as soon as they broke his shit. I was like, well, right. I was like, I'm real. 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 i am real 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 i
you have anybody with some type of area effect power, it's just gonna fuck up all his all his copies. Well, so if he learned how to make well, a rail gun. I wouldn't even say that though. I'm just thinking about first of all, we've only seen like when it comes to outside of twice doing it on himself. I've only seen him make like one copy of other things. Maybe that's the upgrade. What? Like he only made one copy of rapper. If you think yeah. about it, like if he was raw, I'd make like 16 copies. Yeah, but of now that he's like, raw, what if he just make a bunch of dots? That's, that's what I'm exactly. saying. That's what I'm like, yeah, exactly. them. And they can all use the quirk. So it's just like they have. Minimal damage tolerance, but at the end of the day, if there's fifty of them niggas, you only gonna you get ain't in on one. Exactly. And you're not ain't go. <laughs> I mean, like low key, all you need is one rapper all... hitting you from oh, the back. Fuck. Who I get do? overall measurements. Like, no, <laughs> someone actually like mentioned in the show. I can't forget. Uh, I can't remember the character, but he literally said that if you like got a hold of your ability, you can literally take over a country by himself. Yeah. Like, that's huge. Yeah, I don't think there's a limit on I mean, the copies, that, which I think that's probably why he has such a heavy restriction on the. Um, like rules to create a copy like that exact measurement oh. shit because honestly if you could just do that look at a nigga and just go oh i copied you like it's yeah over. that's fucked up you can make an entire it's army over. of niggas they can use the quirks so i was like yo that's yeah like it's over with yeah i just thought about why, why the fuck didn't he just copy all the overhauls measurements when the nigga was locked up uh, well because they locked him up with his arms without his arms no he still had his arms you sure? They cut that shit off. Well, uh, Tomora cut that so, shit off. Tomora wasn't asking questions. Because Tomora wasn't asking questions. Well, we questions. all know Tomora. I'm blaming on Tomora. He's yeah, he's a idiot. Clock. He dumb. That nigga was not thinking about strats. He was like, nah, you killed my nigga. I'm taking it off. Yeah. Tomora think his, his quirk better. I guarantee you somebody was like, bro, I think Tomora, I think overall quirk kind of better than yours, bro. You bring it back. And he was like, no, I'll show y'all mine better. <laughs> That's why you gotta take that nigga arms off. Yeah, nigga's not ready for the twice smoke, bro. That's all yeah, I'm bro. saying. I think he is he is up there. Um Yeah, I'm sure there's ways around it. Like obviously, like versus All Might, this is not gonna work. Or Deku. Like, yeah, or anybody would um speed. scale I would say speed or scale to their power because the yeah, low like, amount um, of damage it takes to kill one. Mm-hmm. But like a Tokodori could definitely wipe yeah. him out. Uh, uh, one one box. Uh, Endeavor rise. could do it too. Endeavor, yeah. that nigga still hero and he ain't retired yet? No, of course not. He feels his eye already. <laughs> that nigga back in the ring. He's the number one he hero. He need to cut. Cut it. He ain't it. Wow. So you say Elijah Hero Wash should take the spot. <laughs> should he move up one? Yeah. Elijah Hero Wash. Keeping it clean. I'm good. <laughs> That's his catchphrase. <laughs> Keeping it clean. <laughs> you just show up to You come out with Ty Pot. Ty Pot. After you beat the video, keeping it clean. <laughs> Everything fresh when you beat it. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I put my money on Bowser. I just yeah. realized you can have three Tomoras within their team. Yeah, yeah. but like, I don't care Tomura much about tries him, bro. Though. I mean, he, he got the hands thing, but it's like, what do you need trash. more than one of that? Compared to like other people. Hell, period. I would take three Dobbies <laughs> over three Tomoras, to be honest. I would say so one of these Tomakina over Tomora. <laughs> okay, Honestly, true. I take a nigga with a shotgun who you don't can't. give a fuck over really? Tomora. <laughs> really, though? <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, give me him, bro. Keep that hands and it go on the sideline, bro. <laughs> that nigga is gonna touch the ground. The ground is gonna start, start to disintegrate, and then Dude. it's gonna. I mean, it's gonna, it's gonna essentially reach down to where you are and start to disintegrate. Yeah. My nigga with the ball. shotgun already blew his muffin cap back. This nigga, so, give me a way big. Yo, <laughs> give me a way big. You got no you know. Hell, I got the name of this episode. <laughs> way big, way big. <laughs> Um, but no, I think at this point now, the, the the League of Villains could potentially have a scale to take out that 100,000. Potentially. Look like but Team Twice, yeah. I mean, twice Dobby, if, they're, if they're this twice shitty, because it seemed like the vast majority of them ain't got no powers. I was hoping that, like, with the, I don't know, hundreds of niggas we've seen, we would have seen more with, like, more interesting quirks that didn't just get one shot at like mm-hmm. this is like a martial arts movie and you walking up the stairs to the main villain exactly. like they literally all got like boop you drop boop you drop and then there's that one specialist person and then they eventually get dropped so I think it wasn't um the chick that Toga dropped wasn't she one of the like head main commanders yeah wow 
Right. Yeah. Throw. Totally yeah. drop niggas. Filthy. No, they, they well, what what trash did you come in here with? Now that I think I about mean, it. I mean, okay, but bro, hear him out, though. If you like, the last time you seen them niggas, they was weak. He didn't know they was training for a month. You're like, hey, bro, we about to run up on these niggas 110,000 deep. What a strategy? We beat their ass. That's what we gonna do. And then yeah. now niggas get worked. Like, oh, they was training, training. <laughs> like, yeah. I would have got too. But, but I feel like for people who. Niggas, they're just showing these new powers for the first time. So niggas did not have all of that. I that feel That's you. true. I mean, Togo was I feel you, but let's think about it this way. How how long do you think Reed Destro's organization existed for? Yeah. Would you argue longer than Tomora's? Maybe yes. 20 years max. Okay, 20 years that organization's been in existence. And their motto has been taking quirks to the next level. Yep. And you're telling me 20 years later, that's your maximum level, bro? Agreed. Niggas being UA? Agreed. Like, maxing out their quirks in four years? And you're telling me 20 years later, you've only gotten this good? Like, that's kind of sad. Some niggas figured it out in a week. I get it. If we want to go the Naruto route, you know, next generation always beats the old generation. Fine. But I think it's still a little shameful that this nigga is I mean, this week. Yeah, I just feel like, within, like within 20 years, they should have, like, their foot soldiers be as strong as, like, Here's my yeah. Like, I think y'all. Think about it. It's weird, though. You would expect that they would also have those guns that um, make your quirks even more powerful. Yeah, they wasn't doing nothing. Only, right. only I don't know what Redestro was doing that. stacking yeah. that money, bro. Yeah, Here's my thing. He's no Lex Luthor. He, That's that all I'm saying. So much money. He should have had something for at least a hundred. Yeah, no. I okay, too sure. No. Tweaking, bro. I don't agree. Money's I, money's money. I I think that um, fuck, this happened. Um, <laughs> they got a no. city, bro. I I I think that we we looking at them from like this lens that they should be this stereotypical prototype like evil villain nation. Mm-hmm. But I feel like the mangaka been showing that like. Niggas kind of regular in this world. So I feel like they may have had it in their head like, yeah, we about to turn up, we this, we that. But really, they was just some regular, not that good niggas. Like, they weaker than the League of Villains. And the League of Villains, not that good. Like, I think these niggas just happen to suck. Mm. They the random villains of the week for the League of Villains. That's why the main characters will never hear about these bum-ass niggas. That's what's so sad, though. I mean, like, you would think, well, I guess maybe... You know what? Okay, touche. I think, at least me personally, I think I got a bias as soon as homie dropped that 110000 yeah, And homie's been scheming. Right. Like, ever since I heard that, I thought that homie was on, like, you know, not a Shikamaru kind of strategist, but, I'm you know, like, getting up cool. there as far as, like, making a grand plan and executing it to consider right. that homie's going to have to box against the main heroes of that world. I was like, yeah, so, for you to be inspired by an old head-ass nigga, like... You see what All for One was doing in his heyday. Like, you know the niggas he got on the Arsenal. Because mm-hmm. we've seen he got to Mark before. Like, you couldn't have been in the following the history and not seen All for One's storyline. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, it's like, you knew what it was. You knew, like, the tier you had to live exactly. up to in All Might's golden age, bro. Like, oh no. My God. He no, gone. he just became gone. Like, <laughs> that was like a week ago. Nobody expected him to be gone unless Reed Destro was the one out. that did it. No, but I'm saying, but he's been plotting right. since then. But just so he said, oh, now that All Might's out the way, I can now make my move, meaning my niggas was not prepared to take on All Might. Yeah, right. But you still should have been preparing your niggas to get as close to that as possible. Yeah, he thought like, that they he were never would have taken over. Like, Loki, if he, he was right, right? Because yeah. from the knowledge they had a month ago, how weak them niggas was, them 110 would have boxed them niggas. Yeah, but yeah. them niggas started are boxing an all my villain. He got into Mark, you know, for a month straight. Got their hands up. And so he was like, oh, yeah, we ready to box these niggas they weak. But they wasn't. Like, th- them niggas turned up. And now these the weak uh-huh. niggas. They, he just low-key. It's like five medium-tier cork users uh-huh. and 110,000 henchmen. And they about to get blown the fuck away by some real <laughs> villains. Like, I think that, like, it got hyped up. It was the red herring. We thought this nigga was going to be hard. He yeah. got his whole art talking about his daddy, but he a fucking bum. They bums. Bro. I mean, I, I guess know, so. Man. I feel like maybe the, he has one more thing up his pocket, but I think that... He does. This, uh... Yeah. This, Bro, uh... He was in a meeting with motherfuckers. Right, these, these though. The, the kids who he ain't beat. That's the thing. Yeah. All of his main niggas are getting dropped right now. Yeah. And I was actually surprised. I was oh, like, there's no way we're... 
Yeah, yeah these are them, bro. Like, uh, his inner circle. <laughs> yeah. His inner circle was the guy who was controlling yeah. objects, the uh, chick the controlling chick, the media, mind chick and was... the uh, political guy, I think. Yeah. You think there may be like one other person? Maybe. Yeah, the There's niggas... a dude with a uh, speakerphone that keeps selling out announcements. Them like, niggas didn't meet as we We see. just lost another 10,000 niggas. <laughs> hey, <laughs> that giant fire over there, that's real. <laughs> Evacuate the president. And watch his fucking quirk be a uh, speaker box's quirk. Oh, I can just amplify my voice. I, I actually don't need this. Like, it's, it's like, you know, just take the thing and drop it like it's not going to I actually never needed this. Let's go. Hey, they about to drop me on me. Y'all niggas Yo. thought I needed a speaker. Huh? Y'all niggas thought these niggas couldn't hear me. Huh? Yo. No. Uh, oh my! <laughs> God, Why isn't he coming? Uh, I've been practicing this scream for years. Uh, Whoa! Well, yeah, no. Uh, yeah, so sorry. Reed Destro's group. If he loses all hundred and ten thousand of those niggas, I hope that they take a second to look back and realize. I don't think <laughs> the he years of life that they wasted following this nigga pretty much. to culminate and getting dropped by some teenagers. Like this is some Scooby Doo shit right here. This, this is my- really some Scooby Doo shit. Like yeah. no little teenagers on your fucking road trip. Came and beat my ass, and now I'm going to jail for this shit, bro. Okay. This I what... spent my life playing in this. That's how every Scooby Doo plan is. They spend their entire lives playing this shit. Oh, I'm finna come up on a hundred million. I'm about to take this estate. This one dog. What the fuck is that over there? And it, oh yeah, let's go look at what that is. Oh wait, this nigga did it. Yeah. <laughs> it's a fucking Scooby Doo shit, bro. Yo. I'm hot. I'd be hot if I was reading that shit right now. Like, you know, what? I, first of all, I canceled this whole shit right now. It's over with. I, I've already taken two major losses. Cut at least, your losses, at least bro. You can keep your business. If you and you still got to be tied up. I will cut true. my losses. Be like, y'all, full scale retreat. Let's go. We gotta rethink some shit. These niggas is really leveling up. We didn't know that they had all of this in the back pocket, and now I come back because you still got one hundred and ten thousand. He probably lost no more than ten thousand. Nah. If, if he loses, I would be surprised if he lost ten thousand anyways. But I would. I think yep. he lost more than 5,000 people right now, total. Yep. And mm-hmm. two generals. You can replace the generals with like some strong ass villains out there, maybe free stain. You got 110,000 niggas. You got some niggas in the Hero Association. Like, come on. He, he definitely is trash, bro. If he no. lets this finish till he takes the L, he's the dumbest villain. Yeah, the homie could just literally just be petty, just be like, you know what, bro? We about to lose. Call the heroes up. That's it. Hey. Yeah, he's all. <laughs> he's I, I, he's I a know trash exactly guy. how this is going to end. This is my theory. Um, they gonna come out for they gonna start to get boxed. They gonna come out for one last hurrah, you know, like Redestro and all them. They gonna be just about to beat the uh, the villains, and that's when Giganto Machina gonna show up. Because remember, he on their own. Mm-hmm. He on his way. True. Yeah. True. So Giganto Machina. Where is this going? <laughs> <laughs> When Giganto Machina land in the middle of this village and start beating shit up, all of them niggas gonna have to boss Giganto Machina, getting killed, but they're also taking them down. So then that's when Tomura gonna be like, hey bro, I low key box you Giganto Machina through the strats. You gotta listen to me now. Hey, this thing listen to me now. In three hours he gonna be up. Trust me, I know. Either you on my side or not, and he gonna gain hella henchmen. He might lose like half of them. He ain't gonna get a hundred thousand. Let's say you get fifty thousand henchmen now. Yeah. I can That's see how it's gonna go. That's the only thing that makes sense because they don't have the time. I don't feel like to literally take out a hundred and ten thousand. Yeah, kids. this is this is all so, a, a build up for Tomura's power up. He right. gonna gain skills, Giganto Machina, and fifty thousand niggas. That makes sense. You still don't know what to do with them fifty thousand. He gonna what? Go piss on all yeah. my you way. Running run in you way right now, bro. Every got fifty thousand niggas. I'll be running you way. And we gonna get them for the sports festival. That already passed. We're going to the next one. <laughs> Arrest him! 
like, oh, you're going to rest this for TP in? And then they just, they just back out slowly <laughs> doing that look. Dude. Really? Yeah. Like, you TP ain't illegal. <laughs> And it's a Mr. Beater, yeah. man. We gonna get out tomorrow. They <laughs> can't hold me for 40 I'll be hours. back in these streets TP in some more houses. Mm-hmm. Your mama house next. <laughs> <laughs> we know where she stay at. No, you know what we're doing? It's the league. What if, what if the second year, like, because we know Deku know second year come up. Yeah. They go second year. And because some of these niggas here are, like, kids, families, what if he get, the League of Villains get some, like, Villainettes, some young villains into the new first years. Uh, you know what I'm saying? That's smart. That's, that's actually a smart way for them to do it because then they get to maximize their training for free. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, not for free. I'm sure you're going to pay some, some tuition, but we know until more broke. Yeah. Then they, you he know, can't afford that. He no, but after this, he's going to get, like he get paid. Come up. He going to get paid. Watch. He got to clean that money, though. I feel like we should be watching the, the real the real the aspects numbers? of a villain come up through him, but we're not. We watching like weird bullshit aspects, but it should be like, okay, now you got income flow. Like how are we gonna clean this money with legitimate businesses inside of the thing? Because it's yeah. uh, yeah. we're gonna buy all my crap. Nice. Exactly. Cause like if you think about it, like let's say he takes Des- Destro down. Okay. Technically, like if he was a smart villain, like a Lex Luthor type, he would also like have a front facing way to take him down, meaning like he takes control of all his assets. Mm-hmm. So all his money's clean and now he has opportunity and all that. But I feel like he will also get his assets, but it's gonna be in a real goofy way that doesn't Makes sense. It's like, oh yeah, now we got money because we took down Destro. But it's like, it wouldn't make sense if a random dude that looks exactly like Tomura Shigaraki that all the heroes know we trying to kill is like, I'm CEO of uh, this <laughs> this company. Don't now. mind my my life yeah. the lip balm. Right. I'm just ashy nigga. Like, put some lotion on his face and shit. He's super young. Yeah, the villain thing is just he dry his face right. out. Slick his hair back like Eisen trying yeah. to act like he's somebody different. <laughs> I don't know who that thing. guy is, but he reminds me of somebody. No, nope. nah. not me. I'm not Ashy. Making dumbass CEO decisions, bro. <laughs> Look, hey, well, our sales are going down on this product. Uh, can we just kill them, niggas? I don't think you know, I don't, our competitors. Is that I possible? don't think he gonna take over D- Redestro shit. I think once he wins, he gains some money. The old man's gonna. Basically, like, give him all the help now. Like, oh, okay, you proved yourself. Mm. He go to no moves. He go money. You good now? Yeah. Uh, so he basically, he's, he's basically his trust fund manager is what yeah. you're saying. His trust fund manager is like, bro, no, you're too stupid to get these in. Because yeah. we know one, one for all. basically not, says you one needed to hit this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all for one was like, oh, okay, if he can beat you against Omagina, you know, all right, bro, to give him the money. Yeah, good. If not, I'll restart. Yeah, I'll restart. <laughs> I'm going to find another yeah. kid to fuck up. Because this ain't tripping. And find these memories. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of tripping ass niggas in there, bro. Damn. All right. On to uh, Promise Neverland. What happened here? Oh, so uh, Norman's about to set these oh, up with the strats. Bro. Yeah, I saw that coming. Um, I think the the new chick. I'm glad to see that there's people other than those four that are still OP in that um true society. So I like that we met a new character there. Yeah, that was interesting. Um, I really like this is the chance for Donna but, Gilta to earn some respect because right. right now they ain't got none. True for me, like as far as like. Um, not being carried by Emma and Norman. So if they can really outstrat this chick, then I think, like, you know, they'll... And Loki and Hayato, too. Yeah. I mean, it's, but it's pretty Hayato, much a like, I feel like Hayato might turn be one of those, uh, I'm playing like I'm weak, but I really like them on that shit type niggas. Mm. I don't know. Like, I feel like... I mean, that I feel like, like all the Norman's... doing is act. I think all the Norman's followers are, like, so dedicated to him, though. That yeah. like they're I don't think Don and Gilda's gonna I mean they're gonna have to like they're gonna have to pull some out, long story short. I mean I Cause feel like you. as soon as like Hayato or Aish like gets a feeling mm-hmm. that they trying to save these kids, like it's just gonna get real. I can just see like them doing some shit and then Hayato like popping up on some creepy shit like, Oh, what y'all doing? <laughs> like, <laughs> like you know, you know how fast he runs. So really? it's like they all the like, way over there and he's just like, Oh, where y'all going? <laughs> like I just feel like he's not um, like them making him go is like showing us that like maybe he's not as nice as we thought maybe but we could also be mm-hmm. wrong and like know. this chick is really like there she to, brings up a lot of questions by itself though Loki. yeah being raised by demons I guess she understands their language I don't know how useful that is anymore you really get what a girl that can speak demon yeah 
There's a girl I was raised by demons that they found. Well, Keith, the only thing that makes sense is that she was raped by the demons. Because oh, I don't get uh, why the demons had her. Like, like for real, think about it. Why did demons raise her? I don't think they And really for her to still hate the demons. It's not like they raised her up cool. She still hates them, but mm. she was still alive. And after all these years? But I think that uh, if they raised her, it could be one of two things, right? Um, one, I don't think she was raised by nobility. So I don't think it was any of those people like that we see in the world. It likely could have been one of those like degenerate type demons. Because I feel like it can't be a man eater, right? We know like I'm assuming that because of her wild nature, it was like this raising her happened in the wilderness. That's right. my that's assumption. That's still, so then that's now if I go crazier, it happened in the wilderness, what demons are out there in the wilderness? Right. Like, okay. Nobility's out. Right. The only thing we know about are two types of demons. Right. The man eaters, which wouldn't raise her, they would definitely eat her. Without There's a doubt. no option for her to get raised by them. Or those degenerate niggas that Norman found. Um, so there could have been an offshoot of that clan that's still like semi intelligent, um, but like they're on the like their way out. Like their ge- degeneration is at its like final phases. So they're like primitive in a way like they're not intelligent enough go, to do things but they're uh, intelligent uh, enough to hunt on their own and not necessarily go, like eat uh, go for one more there how old do you think she is right there who i don't know my guess is they're trying to say she's either the same age as them right now in current day so whatever age they were a few years ago then they're 14 they're, they're 13 slash 14 right now yeah so i already then, like 12 I still don't see them keeping around that long. Like, it, I don't know. Like, to me, it just, it, it doesn't add up to me. Why they would just be raising her, if they were raising her to eat her. Well, Which I is the only well, reason why I mean, they would raise her. The most developed by the time you hit 12. So maybe they thought that, okay, we're going to raise her. They're getting her close to doing it. And then try to eat her and then hopefully become a bit smarter. Yeah. But I think for her to hate them, she w- couldn't have been raised by like a Sanju or Musica clan. Right. So that's why I no, think I it's agree. that offshoot clan that Norman found because they already show that they've been degenerating. And those are like the top tier niggas in that clan. So that's like the best. They're at their best form. Mm. So that means that anybody else like lower in the rung of that tier is probably more primitive, dumber, like all types of shit like that, which would lend me to believe that they're out in the forest like scavenging. So they well, probably just... Of, another piece of proof behind that is the fact that they don't speak their same language. Which ones? Whatever demons were raising her. Because we, we can see that all of the other demons that have any type of decent intelligence are able to speak the same language as the kids. Yeah. They, you mean they speak like English or whatever, right? Or right. whatever that is. Yeah. Okay. But I mean, you could, you could argue that since they're bilingual and fur in, um, <laughs> in the first place, that they would have no reason to speak English in like their own squad slash even with their slaves like why would they speak English Mm. so I guess you can argue that but do we know that they're bilingual though because we've seen um, for example when uh, when Ray and uh, Emma and the rest of the gang were sneaking out trying to find um, the seven what seven wolves okay well they were were trying you know they were on that yeah yeah little trip or whatever yeah yeah and they went to that market area right weren't the demons still speaking English uh, I think I don't so. remember. <clears throat> I have to flash back to that. Yeah, I don't remember. Um, hmm. I but feel I don't like feel like yeah. I don't feel I, like you're wrong in saying that, but I don't remember. I don't know. I don't know. I, I still think low key. This is still odd, but yeah, I'll, I'll drop it. I guess it's not that big of a deal. We'll see how it plays out. I mean, I think I'd explain it, like her her uh, origin story. I don't think they're gonna not do that. Um. They've mm-hmm. kind of done it with the other guys. Oh, so. yeah. Actually, Hayato even said that she has powers, too, that Norman mentioned. And they and they didn't uh, uh, go into that. So I think we're going to see that during the journey itself. Oh, she got powers? When, um, yeah, like, yeah, he literally... Yeah, said that she was able to talk to animals or some shit. Uh, so... That's the reason she got those three wolves around her. Yeah, I'm curious as to how, because we really don't see a lot of animals in there, especially if True. they have two eyes. Like, when we saw an owl with two eyes, it was a camera. So I'm, I'm interested to figure out how she ran into these yeah, wolves. Like we literally haven't seen any animals at all, probably. Yeah, they've all oh, been the some monkey. weird Well, yeah, the monkey's still a demon, kind of. There's also the bird that um, Emma killed, like when she was hunting with Sungju, but I don't think it was a regular bird either. Uh, um, so, yeah, yeah, I'm curious. 
I guess and I'm assuming cool. like the man eaters, that might be what they do too. They might just eat like these random animals. Oh, well, yeah, actually, that's because I think they're that's not exactly smart. what they yeah. do. Because yeah. if they're eating humans, I would think all right, eventually, if they're getting enough of them, they would get smarter. But they're acting like wild animals, so my guess is that's what they eat. So, well, that yeah. makes sense why we don't see them. They get an eight. Um. Uh, yeah, I mean. Oh, and then we saw Ray with Baby Emma. Yeah, I don't give a fuck about what they're doing. So <laughs> I just really want to figure out what is that end of Seven Walls. Like, just answer that story question for me. This whole journey route to get out this bitch, like, mm. I could get yep. two fucks about. Hurry it up. Mm. All right. Anything else on Promise Neverland? Mm, nah. I do, like, I am going to say, like, uh, just a little respect on Don and Gilda, that they did instantly recognize that Norman wants to kill Musica and Sanju. Yeah. That I like. I'm glad they just didn't get suckered in. Like, oh yeah, great. No, it's like still on our side. It's all good. And yeah, I feel like so, the only I'm goofy glad. in that squad right now is uh, Emma and uh, <laughs> and uh, Jillian we go. and Jillian. Those two are probably the ones that I feel like are not wouldn't use their brains in um, a lot of situations. Emma more so, obviously, but oh, like, yeah. definitely not Jillian. Jillian is like, look, if it's about killing demons, I don't really give a fuck what we doing. <laughs> Like, I don't have no stress in my I'm just about killing these demons. Period. Mm. <clears throat> Is that double guns? Yeah. Uh, you know, you need to know what's going on. I know I'm with taking double guns. Yeah. Whatever she about, she about it. I'm there. And she about killing demons. Oh, well, I can tell so, that. I think even if she found out what Norma's plan is, she'd be like, all right, cool. Whatever. Bet. Who we got like, to kill? It'd be that easy. You say, oh, I got to kill all these little kids? Mm. All right, sure, boo. <laughs> no problem. Um, Sounds good. Close right. schedule. On to well, we do, 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 do. B uh, Clover Seven Deadly. Uh, Seven Deadly Sins. That should be quick. So I mean, yeah, it's still so going. Merlin saved her. It's she wasn't going, dead. Though. We not done. We not done. Um, but I thought we were gonna fight the goddess, but no, we gotta yeah. fight uh, the demon king again. So yeah, I'm you, a little disappointed in that. You are definitely not alone. I was extremely disappointed about this chapter. Yeah, for multiple reasons. Like that was that was redone. I mean, one, you know, just, just to start, like, just to like start from the chapter as it went on. Yeah. All right. So one, Merlin saves Elizabeth. Cool. Okay. Merlin's OP. I can see her doing it. Okay. Yeah. Meliodas not noticing though. Mm, I don't know All about right. that. Meliodas literally is god tier now, but she homie didn't notice that she just got instant saved. I mean, I think that was just more of like to kind of F with us kind of moment, which I can understand. We were all surprised, but I don't know. They could have maybe explained that a little better, but that was one. Okay. Two, we go back to find out that Cusack and Chandelier were still low-key alive this entire time. Really? That was weird, too. I was like, mm, I'm pretty sure they got murked. I, I, could, I could look back, but I guess they're somehow still alive. I mean, they were, they were close to death. I'll give you that. But them still being alive, and then also the whole adults? point of their fusion was that they die at the end, basically. Right. They get as powerful as they can while dying in the process. So yeah, you know that that was at least the logic we thought about, like yeah. 10, 15 chapters back. But you know, I guess they're still alive too. And then also the commandments still being chilling, just hanging around. Yeah, <laughs> like, like, like nothing, no big deal. Like, no big deal. Like, <laughs> Just Commandment literally chilling. Merlin didn't yeah. notice him. Meliodas didn't notice him. Like no, and it's not even that they just didn't notice him. It's that they uh, walked away because this happened like pretty much after the battle was over, right? Oh like, yeah, right. So yeah. they already dropped the Demon King, right. and then they were like, "All right, we're just gonna go live the rest of our lives." And they were just like, "No, nah, no, nah, let's clean not up. clean up the battle." Exactly. Like yeah, that's kind of goofy. Ridiculous. And then obviously, whoop. The demon key still got to be alive so we can handle all the commandments. Zeldoris, obvious choice. So now we're literally doing this all again. Yeah, that was trash. I would have preferred it if we went to like the goddess clan. Yeah. Um, and I mean, like they look alike, so it's like even goofier to me. Uh, mm -hmm. But I'm guessing, like, it, she's probably gonna he's probably gonna get pulled out of it with love, you know, because we found out old chick got free now. Yeah, the so, vampire chick. Yeah, so he's either gonna kill her. Or they're gonna use her to like bring him to his senses to a degree. Right. Or right. He, the only wrap up, sure he gets his happy ending. Right. The only wrap up that makes sense is that now they're all gonna do like one, I guess one more grand fight, whatever. Yeah. And then the final thing is gonna be vampire chicks be like, yo, calm down, chill. And then there's gonna be maybe some kind of kamikaze, and then all three of them die: the Demon King, Zeldoris, and Vampire Chick. Right. 
So it's just, I don't know. They're just prolonging the inevitable, I think, right now. Yep. And they should have went in a different direction. I was sad. Yeah. I was sad. I was super excited. And then instantly disappointed. It was sad. All right. On the Black Clover, you might want to cover your ears. <laughs> um, yo. Oh, no. Actually, he already saw that panel on the group about First Emperor coming back, didn't you? Yeah, he already saw that. Oh, okay. Well, um, yeah. So, uh, we got a trip three-way now. Yeah. Glitch. Um, and then Glitch split up again. For a second? Yeah. At first, I thought I knew what was going on, but then it just got really confused. Is this why so. I don't play attention to Black Clover? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, not nah, like, taking my own advice. Like, I'd be like, don't pay attention to it. Then, like, you know, I'm going to try to understand what this Lich and Patrick thing is. And then I'm like, Ooh. wait, what? Can we go back to fighting again? And then yeah. they did that. So They did. They got murked low key, though. Um, I mean, I thought they put in work. Like, so what's it the Magic like Emperor's magic? Is just I think it's light magic. I honestly just think it's OP light magic. Yeah, so his is OP light magic and Lich is sword magic. Now, yeah. officially, is what we're saying. Pretty it much. Is. So. I, I mean, they, they were pulling out the moves. I'm just saying it won't do nothing. Like, yeah, I don't think it's better than time magic, but I mean. Oh, whatever. no, without a doubt. Without Uh-oh. a doubt. I don't think so. Um. Yeah, oh, and then now they, oh, that's the thing. At the end, they're basically like, we're just going to use Asta to fix yeah. this. Because somehow anti-magic works against power of word magic. But I guess it makes sense because it's still magic. Um, yeah. All right. And then I still don't get it. So, like, who owns Asta's magic? I don't know. Like, but that's that's like, kind of a big question. Because Lynch was making it seem like, yo, you had was, my magic, nigga. But I guess right. he just had a sword that looked like his because he had sword magic. And then the Demon King was like, oh, he got my magic, right? So I'm like, I, I so know. who the fuck magic I mean, he got? the only I thing thought it was like... Uh, uh, Patry or Licked or whatever the fuck yeah. had them swords, but they was light. But then with the despair shit, it turned it into like a five leaf grimoire. So it was like dark version uh-huh. of that sword shit. So like that nigga was like, hey, I caused the despair, so that book mine. But that nigga like, nah, that was my book, so that book mine. But oh. I feel like, but I got that bitch though. Somebody who plays a patch of the Black Clover plot, bro. <laughs> I guess they bring it down better than the end. <laughs> I'm good, man. Damn. So I'm just gonna refer to you to clear up the storylines as you continue to catch up in this shit because um, that shit not making sense. Got Were y'all at an anime? Uh, no, I was. I got, already got spoiled, so I just started looking at reviews. Oh <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was you got spoiled for what? Uh, randomly, y'all just dropped some shit into oh, a dude? decent spot. It was like, oh yeah, yeah. oh boop, a picture of like who some dropped that? It? it was probably you. Was it? <laughs> yeah, I think it was like right yeah, after the, the uh, Wizard King was like born. Or no, no, no. It was the, um, I think, I don't know if it was the spot, but it was definitely the crew, I think. You know, you were talking about like the first emperor like coming back and doing work and stuff. Who did that? <laughs> I really don't think it was me. Ooh. Well, in any event, I don't <laughs> Damn, think bro. anybody else posted anything. So, you know what happened to the Magic Emperor then? I, I saw that and I was like, oh, this nigga a rock demon? Or is he an undead? And then after that, I was like, no, I gotta find I'm out. You, you <laughs> saw what happened to original Kronos, Ju- Julius Nova Chrono. No, he didn't see that though. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. So then you're not fully spoiled? Yeah, I'm not fully spoiled with things. I just happened to have known that because I looked into the Magic King and then that got me to like mm-hmm. these places. So. Mm-hmm. so you're still watching the anime though? Yeah. Oh, okay. Where they, they still at in the, the tournament? Anime? Uh, that boy uh, Longris was like, "How dare you, dirty niggas, beat me?" Oh, uh, is that <laughs> one of the people been hyping up where they all like uh, try to run his fade for a second, like yeah. he was about to kill it, yeah, yeah, and yeah, then Austin yeah, yeah. yeah, and all them just put their knife to his throat, like, bro, nah, don't do it. Relax, hey, bro. That's it's a fucking thing. tournament. Bro. So here's the thing, relax. Y'all, y'all probably know what happened after, but that's yeah. where it stopped. Uh-huh. Like, he, they put the they put it on him, like, bro, we an angel shit. What yeah. talking about? And he stopped. But that's kind of, it ended there. And I was like, bro, if this nigga don't, like, say fuck that and, and try and kill these niggas, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, you a hoe. Like, you officially all this wall. But did you not thing. think he was a hoe? I thought he was like, yo, fuck. He's a younger fuck. brother that's real angry. He a hoe. Bro. I know. Like, okay. that's how <laughs> I knew he was whole, but most niggas in Black Clover are hoes just by their nature. But yeah. I'm, I'm talking for the Black Clover world. I thought he wasn't going to be a hoe. But if he don't attack, he definitely he might be a hoe. He's a royalty ass nigga in the hoe. Like, 
It's basically like a Noel situation. Same mm. thing. Like the niggas, Lagos is just one of he's. Lagos is more of like Noel's other siblings, mm. the ones that you never really see. Solid. Yeah, solid and whatever water wave or whatever fuck bitch <laughs> name water, is. Then <laughs> whatever. The other I don't two, know the bitch. I the other two solid. siblings got way more hate and no power. And mm. Nas was like, "Oh, I hate you," but like. Not so much that I like have the urge to kill you on sight the way they do. They like, oh, I just want to kill this bitch, but it's like y'all really can't. But like Langris is like that type of hate, but actually has Nozzle's power oh, behind it. Power to do yeah, it so he's much. like, oh, okay, like he's still a goofy in terms of like the way he hates his brother because mm-hmm. he's just like, oh, he's just putting so much disrespect on our name. But it's like, oh, he got the power to back it up. But he, I'm like, you know what? He was mad. He was mad at him at least from what I gained from the. The my anime is that he's mad that this nigga was better than him at everything except being social. Basically, he was like, "This all came down to who fit or fit wrong. Yeah. You got hoes. Oh man, <laughs> <laughs> that, that's it. Loki, yeah. like, I'm better than you at everything except people love you. They don't love me. True. You got yeah. hoes. I don't. He's the ours. He hurt. Yeah. He's in ours. Like, oh, he got love, love here. Yeah. Like, I'm, but look at me. <laughs> look at my magic. It's better than his magic. And they just like, hey, Pharaoh, what you want to do later? <laughs> you want to grab a piece of me? I'll fuck with you. And then they like, Langer's like, oh, okay, I come get that piece. And they like, no, why don't you do the magic shit? You were supposed to bro. They ain't even answer. They just like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I heard about your party tomorrow. Can I come? Oh, no, I don't. Have, that's not. Hey, what was that though. challenge that niggas used? The mannequin challenge. Niggas just hit the mannequin <laughs> challenge. Y'all. He like, hey, y'all, can I come to your party? <laughs> <laughs> no, we doing the mannequin challenge. <laughs> that's super. We gonna keep doing the sea walk away. <laughs> but yeah, no, I mean, I guess they they they've been hyping that moment up. I've been seeing that all over social media. Same. Mm-hmm. And I was kind of like, oh. They made that part interesting because that tournament arc was pretty dry to me. Oh yeah, they've but been that, making that the lit. scene. Yeah, I guess they've like, been making the lit. I don't know if they did all the the background stories where y'all. I mean, that's, you know Zora's stuff now, right? You know his yeah. ability. At least. Yeah, that's my thing. I feel like that the anime can pull off better because yeah. I know in the manga when you reading and then you waste like a whole chapter on some fuck nigga background story, yeah. it'd be like holy shit, bro. Just like finish this shit. But, like, in the anime, it's it just because it's quicker. It's just like, oh, then they background. Then we keep fighting. Then they background. Yeah. So, uh, it's not as dry. How do you feel about Zora's power? That shit weak, nigga. Oh, okay. Oh, bro, you I thought it made it look raw in the first couple of fights. But then once you realize, like, all right, you got to set these traps. It's like, only mm. so far you can go. And then yeah. like, you got to. As like, soon as they, like. The, and they don't make him a strat, nigga. That's the, the Wizard thing. King, like, switched up the, the bow area. He's like, goom, goom, goom. Yeah. And then Asta, like, knocks his shit away. That nigga literally didn't do shit. He was just sitting there the whole fight. I was like, oh, bro, you for real. You're useless. You're garbage, bro. Yeah, you got to attack him, bro. Yeah. yeah you got to hit all, that body trap. You got to hit him with that body trap. I felt like he would be lit if Black Clover cared more about strats. Like, then... True. You could, like, make his fights Why interesting. Why could like, put him on, like, Shuriken or something? That's what I'm saying. It would make his fight interesting if they actually thought about, like, more than, like, sh- like sh- the fights happen, Straight like, body. yeah, magic to magic until somebody run out. Yeah. So it's like, with him, it's like, he'll come up in, like, a, a fight where it's just like, oh, like, that save the day type fight, like, oh, by accident, oh, it looks like ass is finna get dropped. No, I had a trap set there, so I like saved you for those five seconds. Hey, remember me? Right. And then like that's it. Like yeah. like you said, I do that Shit. one thing. It either works or it doesn't work. And then it's like, well, I you tried. saw me. I, I did some. Shit, tried. I was like, bro, you got a cool character design, but completely wasted. Which is why I can never truly ever put Black Clover into like tops respects. Like it's 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 actually really trash. Damn. It's New Age Dragon Ball Z. Is it? It's yeah. just you watch it. It's interesting. It's just him, but it's actually it's him. That's why I say That's I, it. I feel like Naruto had two children: uh, Boku no Hero and uh, Black Clover. And Black Clover was all of like the things I liked about Naruto fights. They just like moved that into Black Clover, and all of the like thinking part of those fights, <laughs> they just moved into Boku no Hero. It's like, oh, okay, people actually, you actually have to kind of like pay attention to the story, the fights. Like are more than just like um, like straight face to face. Like it actually does depend on like the quirk, the type of person you're going against, all this other stuff. Where Black Clover is like literally like 
I'm just trying to read the hands. I'm not trying to read the story. Hey, which Naruto had That's his why parts I of. The manga. Naruto had his parts of just anime. like, yo, I'm just trying to see the hands, bro. Yeah. Yeah. I, whole, I agree. That whole, uh, whatchamacallit arc, the sand arc with Gar, that was all about, like, I'm just trying to see niggas fight, really. I ain't gonna fuck uh, Once you're put ahead, I really just, like, wanted to see niggas box. Yeah. Like, I stopped watching Shippuden. I would only, like, pick it up for the boxing. Yeah. Yeah. No, I do the same thing with Black Clover now when it comes on Toonami. Record it. Fast forward to the hands. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's all. Yeah, it, it was it, Black Clover is the perfect... I'm gonna throw this in the background anime when it's like English. Perfect, just and throw this in the background, clean some shit. Oh, yeah. they throw hands. Boom. Oh, that didn't go back to clean. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Damn, that was literally how I watched most of my black hole. All right, on in One Piece, last one. One Piece, go, um, go, go, go. So we finally oh, get insight into Kaido's breakdown of his crew. Yep. What all that shit means. Yep. And we finally get what the fuck they're talking about with this smile fruit, mm-hmm. which is um, a gamble. Yeah. So it also means that there's definitely some sleepers in the regular world. Hmm? I think what they're also, well, hey, correct me if I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong in this assumption, but. Since the poor people were eating the small fruit, does the rule technically apply or does it not apply because it already has a bite taken out of it? What do you mean the rule? Meaning, do they still have the potential to get the power? No. Nah. So, since it's someone already took one If your emotions dead, are gone, then you don't got no powers. No, I get that. But I'm saying, like, they pretty much... So, the way I'm seeing it worked is... We got a bunch of small fruit, right? Yep. This shipment came in. Yep. Kaido's crew gets first dabs on the, on the fruit, right? He has a bunch of recruits. He like, all right, today's a special day. Y'all niggas try that shit. You all become named members, right? You're named based off however the, the chips fall after you take this bite. Now, my question is, after they take the bite, is that fruit now a dud? Meaning that you just get the after effects, and you cannot, you can no longer retrieve the ability, even if the person who ate it did not get the ability. So basically, like if I took Ace's fruit and I ate a bite of Ace's fruit, and then I gave it to somebody else, can they still get the the uh, mirror mirror no me ability or no? No. Right. Just a regular fruit. Right. So my thing is, is that the same thing with the small fruit, meaning like after all these people have taken a bite. Like, the leftovers that these people are eating in Leftover Town, which is already, like, fruits that have had a bit bite, bite taken on them, are all they're getting is just a nothing or negative side effects. That's what no, I'm saying. I'm or are there people in that village who have, still have the potential to be one of those 10%? Like, meaning that there's still people out there with zone powers in Leftover Town. We just haven't met them yet. No, I thought, I thought like, the 10% chance was about the fruit itself, not about how you take the fruit. Right, like it's not, it's not about your own biology reacting to said fruit. It's about I the th- fruit itself being good or I not. I thought that's what they implied. That's what that I thought. You eat it, and then like it's not that the fruit's a dud. It's just that ten percent of like the, like no matter if one person has the ability to get the fruit, no matter what one of the small fruits they eat, they're gonna get the ability. Is what I'm saying. That's what that's the way I kind of interpreted it as. I thought not that the like there's only ten percent of the fruits that work. That's what yeah, I thought yeah, it was. That's what they were saying. It's only right. 10% of the fruits that actually work. Because it's like, then why would Orochi be giving them even the chance to get superpowers to randoms? Right. Because I think they literally give Leftover Town the bad batch of fruit that okay. they already they, they know. Said, they said that they had a batch of them that they knew were bad. Exactly. And yeah. they sent them off to them. Okay. Don't ask me how, how they knew that these apples were bad. Well, fruits were bad. I guess you can literally think about it like a machine creating batches of fruit at a time. So it literally spits out a hundred fruit at once, right? Yeah, no. See, they don't say that. So it says it artificially strengthens only about 10% of those who eat it. If 10 men eat the flesh of the fruit, only one will obtain its power. So it's not specific to the fruit, right? Uh Only about 10% of those who eat it. If 10 men eat the flesh of that fruit, only one will be able to obtain his powers. In other words, nine or duds. Oh, no, okay, that does make sense. Oh, wait, maybe they if it's experience like... only the adverse effects of the thing. No, they're saying... Okay. No, no, they are saying... They're only saying 10% of the fruit uh, are actually, like, real fruits, kind of. Yeah, power-giving fruits. No, that makes sense. 
That's what I'm saying because she said the oh. other nine are duds. So yeah. Oh okay. So yeah, there I'm was... guessing maybe okay. I guess I get the logic. Maybe if they let's say if they print out in batches of ten or whatever, right? Yeah. Let's say if they give one of those fruits out of that ten uh, to you know one of their gifters, that person well. He's not a gifter yet, but one of their guys, he gets a power, then they automatically know, okay, these other nine are automatically trash, so let's put those in the in the dud pile. Mm-hmm. Maybe that's how they know which ones are duds and which ones actually give the powers. Well, not which ones give the powers, but, you know, how do you round up all of the duds? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, they explain it. The ones out of which, which but one bite had been taken to use. So basically, you just looked at ones that are already vet, oh, and then he figured out who uh, got powers and okay. not, and there then you just gave him that. Mm-hmm. So that sucks. It's, it's weird because I felt that these were all fresh fruits because uh, even when the people of Abizu Town were receiving those fruits, they would look at them like, oh, snap, these, are, these fruits are fresh. I yeah. mean, those just because one bite, they could still... Uh, big fruit fresh. I mean, their their defense though they're from leftover town. I mean, their standard of what fresh was is a lot, you know, That's lower true. than what we were counting. I mean, like we count, you know, a bite into it as it's ain't fresh, so we only took a bite. But if the fruit literally fell off the tree that same day, someone take a bite of it, then give it to one of these kids, they're gonna be like, oh, it's still fresh. Yeah. So that's probably what they were on. All but, right. But no, that sucks. It sucks, man. No anger or sadness. Ooh. Yeah, it's kind of fucked up. Uh, would I say it's more fucked up than shit we've seen in Big Mom's world? Yes. I don't think Big Mom did that much fucked up things as far as I can remember. Ooh. In her world. I mean, she was just petty to her kids, but like, you just had to pay your candy yeah. to her. She was straight. Like, yeah, as far as like in you. general. No, she was like... You're like, right. kind of literally... Took away the emotions of people. Yeah. I think um, Domingo's crew was worse. That, in terms that's of how they treated the true. people? Yeah, no, that's true. Like the toy Turn system. The toys and making their whole family forget them? Yeah, no, that's after. I mean, that's fucked up, but it was like if you cross me type thing, you know? No, it wasn't. I thought it was. No, oh, wait, wait. Was, uh, I thought he was fucking up niggas that crossed them. Uh, I thought they would make random people just disappear to work in the factory. I, I mean, yeah, they uh, did that too, but. That was both. Pretty much. Yeah, I feel like it was a mixture of both, where it was just like, oh, okay, you know, fuck it. We need you in the factory. And then also, like, oh, you talking shit about Don Flamingo? Whoop, you gone, nigga. Like, where Kyrie was just like, he just destroyed his whole town. Like, he pretty much said, fuck it. Like, every place is poison. You can't drink the water. You can't do anything. Like, Lord of Rochi's land isn't really that great. Like, he just the leader of that shit. So, pretty much. I don't know. I feel like only his crew really can live it up, so to speak. Mm-hmm. He pretty much like fucking like you don't have no option but to join Kaido's crew if you really think about it like that's your only way to come up in the world yep. if you don't come from royal blood it's like shit I guess I better get some hands and join Kaido shit cause yeah other than that I'm fucking gonna starve and die out here pretty much um also last part which niggas have been really hyping up but I'm gonna be honest I'm not that hyped for it um Zoro and Sanji show up. Yeah, I I don't expect literally anything to really come yeah, from like that. Yeah, they don't have anything not from substance. to really go against. Like, there's not a big fight I'm waiting on. What, right. X-Ray going to show up and they going to fight Yeah, oh, they're going to fight Queen right now? Yeah, Psych. like, <laughs> niggas is really, like, <laughs> like you... hype. Like, hype, oh, my God. Zora's hype. I'm like, I guess it shows how much we've been feeding for a fight. True. But, like, it has been a while. Still. You that. But, yeah, it's not happening now, bro. Yeah, like, who are you? Who, we still going to have to wait for at least, like, what, three, four chapters? He ain't chapters. even got the suit on, bro. You don't even got stuff black suit. Oh, you don't got stuff black. I mean, he can easily just pull up a guy's pocket. Thing. I guess transform. He should give him a, a Zaruji green. <laughs> <laughs> but no, nah, I, I don't see literally nothing coming from this. I think it's just gonna be another get the f out the area scene because yeah, yeah. They, they ain't gonna be ready. Maybe we kick it off the plan finally. I hope so. Right um, now, but I think it nah. wouldn't happen until after <laughs> Luffy gets free. Yeah, that's four or five. Five. Oh. You said what? That's not going to happen until Act 4 or 5. Oh, okay. Right. Exactly. Like, especially with that meeting place, like, they still got a crank, too. Like, I don't see literally no big fights happening until practically the end now. Yeah. Like, right. So. I think we're still in Act 2 of, the, of this fucking arc, so we got a long way to go. Damn. Did you delete the other thing? Hmm? Did you delete the other thing? Yeah. 
Oh, damn. That thing get powered out. We, oh, okay, we okay. had like two hours of some change now. Oh, are we? Almost two and a half. Snap crack. All right. Well, but in case, I mean, that's pretty much it for one piece of the MVP of the week. You guys want to do the goofy of the week now or wait till next week? Do I have a goofy this week? Uh, goofy of the week. Play it five. Ooh! Damn. <laughs> damn. I, I think it's on it with me. I'm just going to do an yeah. MVP. My MVP of the week is uh, Philo. Oh, you did? I was going to say that. Wow. Man, you a skank. Uh, It'd be that way. Uh, if we're going Rising of the Shield here, I'm going to have to give my Goofy to Superior because that nigga is... Just, <gasps> true! He just he reminds <laughs> me of like, the true embodiment of Goofiness. He really just, is. Everything you do exudes Goofy to me. The other two kind of just watch unless they get Goofy stuff later on, but... Spear Hero is like full goofy to me. No, um, you're right. And then MVP of the week. Um, you gotta look. I mean, mm-hmm. I would go uh, for, for those who probably don't read Chainsaw Man, but I'm gonna go Damn, uh, the niggas that ran up in these past two chapters, bro. They literally just spilt <laughs> like the entire main character squad in like two chapters, and it just came out of nowhere. And I was just like, what the fuck? So, yeah, MVP to those niggas. Who, I don't know who the fuck y'all are, but y'all just dropped the entire cast of Chainsaw Man <laughs> in two chapters. Oh, uh, fuck. Go. go ahead. Uh, I'm going to give MVP to the queen and uh, God the show. God damn. damn. I don't know who cares. <laughs> I'm about the queen she's too. Fuck. For real. She's willing to Mer- sacrifice her own husband and daughter because she knows that they are trash human beings. They really are, though. She, she's, she's willing to put righteousness ahead of, you know, blood. I fuck with that. Bro, she's looking out for the whole world, man. You do wrong about the shield hero, it's gonna be GG. Anyways. Exactly. Uh for that's um, some Cersei shit right there. That's not Cersei. Goddamn. Um Cersei set up. Who am I give this to? So Ruji and Sanjiro. You know what? If around I'll give it to twice. Hey, he I'll give it to twice. Some respect. Yeah, no, he I mean like he broke a bone, but he figured out that his life isn't a lie. So good for him, you know? And he's actually about to do some hardcore work. I mean, on a real note, if they don't cap, like, if they don't, like, just put out to be like, hey, I can't put out this max amount of clones, then he's literally OP. Because yeah. he's a one-man army. That's going to be able to do work, like, no matter what he's doing now. The one-man so, army twice. So, I'll, I'll give him MVP for about to make that hardcore come up. So, good stuff for you twice. Cool. All right. All uh, right, no goofies? I was going to give my Goofy to Spear Hero, but someone already caught that. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. good for you. Yeah. Mother effer. Okay, actually, no, time out, time out. I'll give Goofy to the Pope, because that mother effer was actually really dumb oh, during that man. whole fight. And y'all know it's true. <laughs> like, that was just yeah. stupid. As soon as he heard that the Queen Squad was coming, he should have bounced. That was just silly. But anyways, oh. I, 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 I guess understand. my goofy of the week would have to be uh, Reed Destro. You're playing <laughs> white, really? Your Man, niggas white. Damn, ah, looks like you about to lose half your niggas. Twenty years. <laughs> about to shame your your daddy rolling in his grave. Twenty years, bro. Damn. Watch it not be his. You not my son. He tried to do the, the Lion King talk to his daddy in the uh, Pride Rock type shit. No. He, you know, <laughs> he just fade the cloud, just fade away, bro. Wow, crazy. Damn, just for doing. He me. just been a fan. He like that nigga from our Bell Academy. He tried to be, he tried to be one of Reed Destro. He came up to him like at one of his rallies. He was like, Reed Destro, I just want to be a part. He was like, Get out of here, get out of here, kid. He was, I'll show you one day. <laughs> and this is the day. <laughs> Dropped Damn. like a sack of bricks, bro. Oh my bad. Sorry, I should gave another MVP, bro. Way what? big, man. Oh, oh. <laughs> that's the whole pot. That's for uh, Deuce. Way big. <laughs> Deuce say way big. His uh, goofy is Green Lantern for thinking he had a chance, bro. Hey, you no, know, I'm just gonna go back in time. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that's how I'm gonna stop there. Get the out of here, man. That's funny. Goofy oh, out of here. Uh, goofy out of week. Them niggas. Uh, 
Oh, Death, death Screw Battle Attack. Oh, yeah, Screw Attack. attack. Y'all niggas goofy. Ha ha! Goofy ass niggas, bro. Goofy. All right. Damn. The fuck you talking about, fam? Cool fast. <laughs> <laughs> I need a clip of that, bro. I need a clip to play. God damn. Well, all right. We out of here. All right, people. Until next time. Bye. You better not stole my shit, motherfucker. This nigga out here trying to be uh Who does quirk stealing, nigga? They got one? Me. <laughs> <laughs>